Oh gosh, no, no, no. Chad's gonna be mad. I'm late for work. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, this is gonna be bad. Okay, uh, hey Chad. You are two minutes late on your first day. I know. I know. Okay, okay. So, uh, I can tell him the truth and I can say sorry or I can give an excuse. Smash like in the next three seconds and I'll give him an excuse. Uh, what can I, I come up with? I was attacked by a raccoon. Yes. How useless. You will never be as good as me. Wow, you didn't even, like, ask if I was okay. I was attacked by a raccoon. Fight back. I will prove you wrong. That's right. I'm gonna be the best assistant ever. Okay. Go to your desk and start working. All right, now. Chad. Uh, okay. All right, I'm on my way. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hello? Anybody? Hello? Give me some coffee ASAP. Okay, Chad, don't worry. I'm all over it. All right, Chad wants coffee. Chad wants coffee. Oh, here you go, Chad. Got you. Oh, crap. Ah! Oh, I'm so sorry, Chad. Chad, I, I didn't do that on purpose. Do I get him new pants or do I clean his normal pants? Uh, I think I'm going to get you some new pants there, but it's coming out of the company's budget. I'm also going to crawl away. I got new pants for you. Do you love them? You don't like your new pants, Chad? They have polka dots on them. I thought you loved polka dots. Day two in the office. You found the stray dog. Adopt him or let him starve. Well, in order to adopt him, I need to watch an advertisement. The developers are really playing with my heartstrings, trying to make money off of me. I won't let them win. I'm so sorry, doggy. Somebody else will come along and they won't have to watch an ad to keep you alive. Hey, Chad, what's up? Drive me home. Why am I hacking into something right now? All right, don't worry, don't worry, Chad. We're gonna get home safe. I, I totally have my license. Yup, I'm gonna get you home safe. Is this your house? Oh, gosh. I don't know where you live, Chad. Chad, directions would be helpful here. Okay, cool, cool. Don't worry, Chad, I got you. Drive slow. I had too many drinks. Chad, why are you drinking on the job? The brakes aren't working. The hmm. brakes aren't working. Chad? Chad, your car's busted. I, I I think this is your car. Oh, so, sorry, Chad. I crashed your car. Oops. Do I call the ambulance or do I leave Chad to die? Sorry, Chad. Bye. Good luck. <laughs> Did my car change? Savage PA. Day two completed. I love these games. I wish I had a different boss. What is this on the side? Mix potion to create your dream boss. Well, I can make him kind. Okay, good, good. I don't want too much kindness. I need him to still have his sharp edge so that the company makes money. Let's make him angry as well. We need a little bit of nerd in there so that he actually has somewhat of a brain. Oh, wow. We actually made a new boss. And we can get married if I want for $500. I don't know if I like that alternate reality. I have been hacking into something for three days straight. Is that what assistants do? I don't know. We're gonna answer my phone. I forgot some stuff at home. Get it for me. Oh crap, we gotta go to Chad's house? Of course, this is exactly what I thought Chad's house would look like. Polka dot art, which is exactly why I got him polka dot pants earlier. It all makes sense now. All right, so we have to collect the items. We need his keys. Don't worry, Chad, I got you. We're gonna collect his red clown boots, his computer, and also he needs, is this a phone or is this like an alarm clock? I'm not gonna ask questions, he just needs it. And there's also, hmm, top secret information. Do I open it? Oh, I think I maybe I'm gonna open it. Okay, do it, do it, yes. Top secret information, what is it? Swipe to open, of course. Secret plan. Steal money from company, buy supercar, and plan C, blame PA for lost money. Stupid. Wh Who's the stupid one now, Chad? Boss wants to get me fired. What to do? Hmm, do I take him down or do I take revenge? I feel like both of these are kind of the same. I'm gonna take him down! I have to get the boss fired. Oh, wow. We're going to get Chad fired and then I am going to become the boss. I'm going to make Chad my personal assistant. Okay, step one, get him fired. Step two, fall in love. Step three, make her resign. Today is day number one of getting Chad fired. Come to my office right now. On my way, Chad. On my way. Hey, Chad, what's going on? Oh, wow, what a nice surprise. No, where are your pants? OMG, where are your pants? We're in the office. I need your help. Are you like six years old, Chad? What happened to you? I'm getting out of here. You got you got to deal with this, this stuff yourself, man. 
Maybe get a doctor. I am not your doctor. Yo, Chad is crazy. Oh, yes. My favorite part. I've been waiting for this. I can dress myself up. Ooh, we can buy a fancy new outfit. You see, I used to look like a secretary, but now I look like I own an art gallery. What kind of company do we run, by the way? What do we actually do? Personality test. Can you keep a secret? Yeah, I can keep secrets. Is your room messy? Is this a secret? Who wants to know this information? Never. My room is never messy. What would you rather do? Watch a movie or read a book? I'm gonna say watch a movie. What do coworkers hate about you? Reveal, but they're gonna make me watch advertisements. <laughs> and it says miss out if I don't wanna do it and take the free route. These developers know what they're doing. They're smarter than they let on. Imagine if Chad's the one that made this entire game. Oh, my messages. Hello? Okay, let's check out my messages. Goal, prank dad. Help me? Hey, Pops. Oh, yeah, let's prank dad. What do you want? I don't even have a picture of my father? I have, like, the stock image. I had an accident. What happened? I crashed your car. I broke my fingernails. Both of these are horrible options, but I'm gonna say I crashed his car. <laughs> OMG, what now? <laughs> Pranked. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Get pranked! Get pranked! Uh, I was trying to take a nap from my hacking, even though I think babysit I was hacking in my sleep. Day. Babysit my kids for the day. What do you think I am? I'm not a babysitter. You're so hot. Also, Chad has kids? Why would anybody want to have children with Chad? All right, well, they called me hot. You are just like your dad. You are just like your dad. <laughs> You are so mean. <laughs> you, why, you don't want to be like your dad? How is that a mean thing Can to say? Can we play together? Okay, maybe the daughter will be a little bit nicer. I would love to. I would love to. Yes, I will be a good babysitter to you, and your brother Thad can go kick rocks. <laughs> So far, it's been five days, and I've made $2,000 as a secretary. This is awesome. Oh, hey, Chad, what's up? Office trivia. Which color does Billie Eilish wear the most? What? Imagine you go into your office and your boss is just like, hey, what color are my underwear? Like, how am I supposed to know this? Uh, let's go green. Green. Thank you. What okay, color cool. Is Donald Trump's hair? I didn't know you were a fan of Billie Eilish and also Donald Trump, but it kind of makes sense. His hair is not purple, it's yellow. But imagine yellow. if it was purple. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a little dance party. You know, maybe Chad isn't as bad as I thought. What do you want now, Chad? Meeting at the conference room in two minutes. Okay. All right. Don't worry, Chad. I'm going to be there. Hold to eat cookies? Am I not allowed to eat cookies in the meeting? Also, wait, what are we analyzing right now? All right. Well, I guess I'm just going to keep eating cookies. Nobody else is allowed cookies. I mean, it is Chad, so I'm not surprised that he has no idea what's happening. Angel PA. 29 days to go until revenge. I can't wait to enact my revenge. Back to hacking. What do you want, Chad? Send underwear to girlfriend and secret files to accountant. Secret f what now? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. We can send confidential files to my girlfriend and we can send undergarments to my accounting team. <laughs> Don't worry. Bon Jovi got the underwear and my girlfriend got the secret files. He looks really mad about the secret files. Oh, we can upgrade our office space. Let's go with the free option. Oh my gosh, everything is now pink. All right, uh, we'll, we'll go with that one. Oh, I can swipe around. Oh, we can buy other things. We can put something on the office wall for $500. That's terrible. Okay, cool, I like it. Oh, we can go inside the boss's office. <laughs> His wallpaper has changed too. I hope he didn't mind that I made some renovations. Oh gosh, what's happening? Big boss is coming for inspection. I thought you were the boss, Chad. Be on your best behavior. Who's the big boss? Is it that guy over there wearing shorts? Oh gosh, it is. He's wearing a blazer. <laughs> He's wearing cargo shorts. Oh no, but he does have pretty spectacular looking mustache. Make him fall. Oh, okay. All right. We're being cynical already. Let's use a rope. What's up, big boss man? Wait, do, am I making Chad fall? Yes. Okay, good. Take that, Chad, you big old <laughs> idiot. Even the boss likes it. The boss probably hates Chad, but has no actual reason to fire him. <laughs> do they not see me hiding right Please there? <laughs> Drop him on the floor with a wrench. Wait, the boss? Oh, no, Chad. Good, good, good. Yes, Chad has no idea what I'm doing. I can freeze time, actually. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> this is the best game ever. Oh, I'm ready. I'm getting, getting sturdy. Getting sturdy. Okay. 
Okay. All right, little dance battle. Yes, we got promoted on day 10. Wait a second, I got a text message. Messages. Why didn't you come to the family event yesterday? Our goal is to find an excuse. Pirates kidnapped me or my dog was sick. I think pirates kidnap me is less believable, so maybe my mom will think that I'm joking. Pirates? In New York? She actually thinks I'm serious, and she's currently calling the FBI, informing them that pirates are invading New York City. I swear it's true. I saw Blackbeard myself in the flesh. She said, okay, I hope you're fine. Are you serious, mom? I'm not okay. Why are the parents always so dumb in these games? Hire a plumber for the office. Okay, what does Chad actually do? Because I feel like I'm doing all of the work. Who's this guy? Are you Mr. Plum? Hello, I am applying for a plumber job. Wow, you are so strong. You've made my pipes leak. <laughs> okay, cool. I have 20 years of experience in plumbing. Wow, that's nice. How is his body so tiny? Really? You look so young. Did you start plumbing in your mom's womb? <laughs> I don't wear clothes while working. <laughs> what? 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 You can start work tomorrow. Chad loves when people don't wear clothes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, today's the day the plumber is coming. Errand runner. Okay, cool. Uh, hello? Hello? Are you, is it the plumber? Chad, the plumber's here. I need a massage. What? Go to a massage therapist then. I'm. The, what do I look like? What the heck? Yo, Chad! What the heck, Chad? Where's your butt? You have absolutely no butt. Mm, relaxing massage or torture massage. This is the closest I've been to clicking on one of the advertisements. You're lucky, Chad, that I don't feel like giving the developers any money, so you're gonna get a relaxing massage. Wow. Yep, I know. So relaxing. Yep, yep, okay, all right. I am telling everybody about this and you're going to prison. Day 12 on the job. <laughs> I can't wait for revenge. Oh, more office trivia. Which country is the origin of K-pop? That is Korea. Korea. Yep, I studied. Which one is a fashion brand? Uh, Nike, not Starbucks. Nike. They sell coffee, Chad. I feel like I'm educating Chad Which on one these is things. Which symbol of a brand? Which one is a symbol of a brand? See, what happens if I say melon? melon. Does, does he know that it's wrong? <laughs> I can't even tell, because look, he's so happy afterwards. I'm pretty sure now he thinks Melon's a brand. Oh, who could it be? Buy my wife some clothes for our anniversary. I thought you had a girlfriend like two days ago. All right, select an outfit. Uh, let's go with that one. You look so hot. Is she there? Is that the wife? I am so sorry. <laughs> I can't. We're trying to have a meeting, but just look at the wallpaper. <laughs> Let's get started with the meeting. Also, Chad's voice changes like half the time. Every day it's different. All right, let's do a farting spray. This stuff is awful. Yep. Chad, did you fart? Because you totally smell awful. You, you smell terrible, Chad. What's this smell? You farted. Whoever smelt it dealt it. Everybody knows that. Let's use uh, the projector remote. Let's see what's on the projector, Chad. Oh, what is that? What is that? Is that him and his wife? That's my side chick. <laughs> Chad has been exposed for cheating. Chad's life is going down the drain. And he has no idea. It's me. I am the mastermind behind everything. Would you rather be reincarnated as a giraffe or a turtle? Is there like a right answer here? I'm going to go turtle. Comment down below which one you guys would want to be reincarnated as. Either me or Chad. Hello. Help with customer service. Okay, this is the first thing that I think you've asked me that I think, like, it's my job to I do. I don't like your service. It's so slow. Well, that's rude. I will send a tech to your home in six months, I will send lady. A tech to your home in six months. That's right. Suck on that. What do you want? This software stopped working in just one week. You know we have telephones, right? Like, you don't have to come in. It's probably your it's fault. It's probably your fault. Yep. <laughs> she went like this. The last person I spoke to was extremely rude. Must have been Chad. Oh, wait, this is the plumber. Don't worry. It's going to happen again. Looks like that is going to happen again. <laughs> Do the same thing. 21 days until we get our revenge. Ooh, I've been promoted to rookie sidekick. Let's go. Hello, Chadathan. child up from school. Okay, all right. Yeah, I can do that. What is happening? Um, 
I don't know. What happens if I don't pick up the right child? Also, like, doesn't the kid know to look out for me? I want to bring back this kid. This is not my child. Whoops. Sorry about that, Chad. Sorry. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this job. Hello. Hire a janitor for the office. Hey. Hello, I'm applying for a janitor position. That's cool. Why did you just stare at me for the first three seconds of the call? When did you shower last? <laughs> I'll shave and clean myself up today. Yeah, you better. But how will you... <laughs> but how will you... I can't. But, 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 but how will you fix your ugly face? I'm so glad that I'm not actually doing this in real life. I need to get this job anyhow. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> I feel I feel bad. Come in tomorrow, please. Good. Make sure you're shaven and not ugly. Ooh, dating. Yes. Yes. Chad. Book me a table in a five-star restaurant. <sighs> Chad, 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 Chad. Do you not know how to do anything? Oh my gosh, my password is I hate my boss. <laughs> Nice. Oh, we're we're doing one star. That's what you get. His name's Harold. It popped up his name. His name's Harold. I think it's his wife. Oh gosh. Why would they eat there? Oh, Chad. I almost feel bad for you. Oh gosh, he's sleeping. Prank him. Prank him. Wake him up. Uh, leaf. Yeah, we're gonna tickle him. Tickle him. Yeah, wow, that is a big leaf. Where did I get that? Yes. Epic. Make reading fun. <laughs> Shocker punch. <laughs> Violence is always the answer. Get him. Attack Chad. <laughs> what? I guess I must be a magician because somehow we put a boxing glove inside of a book that punched him in the face. Devil horns unlocked. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come to the conference room. On my way, Chad. Don't mind the devil horns. They're new. What were you doing? Clean up the mess. I literally just watched you make the mess. What? A hot dog? All right. We'll get that. We'll remove the water blaster. There's a Game Boy somewhere around here. There it is. And also, like a LaCroix bottle. What else? Is there any? Nothing else is in there? No more top secret stuff? Chad. Chad. Hire a new IT head. Chad, you literally work maybe 15 feet away from me. Why are you calling me? Hi. Hello. I'm applying for IT head position. Yeah. What do you know about computers? I know about mice, keyboards, monitors, emails, etc. How do you know so much? I have a computer science degree. Interesting. Whatever, nerd. We're not looking for nerds here. We're looking for other Chads and Brads and Thads. Ooh, yes. Biggest customer calling. Why are they calling Don't me? Pick up. What do you wait? What? I, hey, Chad. Chad. Um, um, nah, I'm answering this. Oh gosh, Chad, you might want to wipe that off your face. We have the biggest customer on the line right now, and they're saying that they need you. One day closer to revenge. My monitor is very dirty. Clean it now. Oh my gosh, Chad. Chad, you're just like, you're like a child. Ch Chad, what did you possibly do? Did you have explosive poop on your computer? What could have possibly done this? What even is that? I don't even want to know, honestly. This is gross. You should throw this thing out. I'm done. That's good enough. Quit pooping wherever you want, Chad. Yes, we've been promoted. Promoted, promoted, promoted. Hello. Buy me a wig. Uh, what? Why? Are you actually bald, Chad? Clothing store. Wouldn't I go to the wig store? Oh my gosh, yes. I can turn him into All Might from My Hero Academia, Pennywise the Clown, or a 12-year-old skater boy. This one matches his style more than anything else, and that's why he loves it. I'm convinced Chad is a seven-year-old child just stuck inside of a grown man. Tap to prank. What's up, Chad? Walking disaster. Dog. Yes, the dog that I still haven't claimed. <laughs> that was apparently gonna starve. It's not starving right now. It's chasing Chad. It's gonna bite his butt. Sitting surprise. Bomb or glue? Do I play it nice or do I try to kill Chad? I'm, I'm going for it. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh, Chad. Okay. All right. Hey, Chad. Chatham. I have fever. Book a oh. doctor's appointment. Okay. Welcome to healthcare service. Get an appointment. 
Right. Oh, I keep forgetting his name's actually Harold. Harold Pinto. Choose a service. Common cold doctor, colonoscopy, or a dentist? Let's send him to the dentist, just for fun. How was that? Did it, oh, he, he looks sad. Maybe he found out he has cavities because he probably eats candy for dinner. Eight more days until revenge! Uh... Let us enjoy. Don't let anyone in. Okay. Sure, boss. Not a problem. Oh gosh, who, who is this? Is that- Where is my husband? Is Chad. he in office? Chad, Ch yeah, lady, turn your head. He's legit right there, frozen in time. Send her in. He's inside. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, she's muscular. Dude, she's bigger than Chad. <laughs> no wonder Chad was scared of her. Hire an HR rep for the office. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey. I don't like how they all creepily stare at me for the first five seconds of the Hello, call. I'm applying for an HR position. Yes, you are. You have an opening for a human resources manager. All right. All right. Oh, HR. We met hot receptionist. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You don't quite fit the job description. <laughs> all right. We're going to give him the job anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the team. Oh my gosh, we just crossed $10,000 as a personal assistant. Clean my house. Bro, what is... This is your house? You live outside? Things are starting to make a lot more sense about Chad. He doesn't even have a roof. I don't remember Chad's place looking like this the last time I was here. <laughs> Maybe things aren't going so well at the company. <sighs> Hello? <sighs> Hello? Paint the office wall. Hmm, I was wondering when Chad would find out about the office wall. All right, don't worry, we're gonna make it blue. Do, 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 All right, that looks good. Three more days until our revenge. Ooh, apply for a job. Yes, yes, I get my a new job. Why should I hire you instead of the others? Because I've been putting up with Chad for 33 days. There's no way anybody else on planet Earth could do that but me. I could dance for you during breaks. Okay, show me. Okay. We're gonna do a little shimmy. Why did you apply for this job? Oh, we're done dancing. I am going broke. <laughs> we are not a charity. Bye. <laughs> but you pay money, don't you? Gosh dang it, dude. I gotta work on my interview skills if I'm gonna prank Chad and lose my job. Oh, hey, Chad. Make him wet. Uh, pluck it. Watch out, Chad. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Just take the bucket off of your head. <laughs> Shocking surprise. Fork. Yes, Fork, we're gonna kill Chad. That's the prank. <laughs> <laughs> One more day to go until the actual revenge. Amateur helper. Oh, it's day 36. It might be the big day. Boss is stealing money. Of course he is. Why am I not surprised? This is the best time to get him fired. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, we're gonna take some pictures. Okay, photo, photo, yep. We're catching him in 20k resolution. Him and his super muscular wife that can do 10,000 push-ups are stealing all of the company money, putting them in orange duffel bags, and throwing them out the window. I got it all on camera. I'm about to blow this up! Today's the day we get Chad fired. Meet your new boss. Oh no, dude, I'm gonna be late. It's my first day as an air hostess. I gotta get to the plane. Wait, that's the air hostess of the year. That's my dream. Wait, there she is. Don't you dare dream of becoming what I am. But I have the right to dream. But I have the right to dream. No, you don't. Why no. is she so mean to me? <laughs> I promise that I will win the hostess of the year award one I'm gonna day. take this lady down. <laughs> I have made it my life mission to become the best air hostess in the entire world. I'm taking you down, lady! Oh, wow, this is the airport. So lovely. Okay, that's the plane that I'm on. We are in economy class. Okay, we're gonna take the job. Pays actually pretty well. I'm gonna make fat stacks Please of cash. turn off your electronic devices. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yep, everybody turn that off. Hey, hey, hey. What you doing, pal? Did you not hear me? I don't know if you're new around here or not, but, um, I am the air hostess. I am the law. Turn off your tablet. It's so loud. But I'm watching Game of Thrones. Nobody cares about Game of Thrones. Start after we take off. Start after we take off. Or I will throw you off the plane myself. No. 
I want to watch it now. You want to what now? Snatch his tablet. It's mine now. You beat B. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. You are not allowed oh. to do that. Give it back. But, um... Uh, but he wasn't turning it off, so I had to do something. But he was not turning it off. Yeah, the pilot told me to do care, it. But you can't break rules. Oh, oh, that's okay. That, that's fine. All right, first day on the job, you know. Okay, we got a new crowd of people. Another day, another dollar. Excuse me, this pervert keeps looking at me. Who? Is it you? I will report you to the pilot, sir. I will report you to the pilot. Don't think I won't. Oh no, I heard a meow sound. Wait, there's a. Wait, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? Is there a cat? She is feeding a cat. Wait, what? Is that true? Is that true? He is lying. Oh, gosh. Wait, wait what's under her blanket? Swipe it down. Give me that, lady. There's a cat there! There is a flipping cat, lady! What are you doing? You can't bring oh, that on a plane! It's a cat. <laughs> Give cat to pet rescue department, or I can adopt the cat. Actually, that option is not available for me. All right, I'm gonna give it to the pet rescue department. Sorry, Whiskers. You're going away, because you were brought on a plane. Wow, I was ultra aggressive with that cat. I feel like I'm kind of a Karen. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, oh God, okay, um, okay, please don't do that. Please don't throw up. I want to puke. Don't do it, don't do it. I can, I can tape you or I, I just give you a vomit bag. You can take the vomit bag. Use this vomit bag. There you go. Let's move a little quicker there so that he doesn't throw up everywhere. Yeah. All right, that's gross. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Emergency? Uh, what's happening? Pilot? Are, are, is he really having a heart attack right now? Did he just die? Uh, do I have to save the pilot? Oh god, oh god, okay, okay, okay. No, we got it. Stay with us. Brad, don't die. I am a little curious what happens if I miss. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, Brad, sorry. So oh, sorry, Brad. Sorry about that. <laughs> sorry, Brad. I'm really, I'm not trained for this. I, there, there should really be a doctor on board. Oh god, Chad, Chad, you're gonna die, Chad. Oh no. It won't let me kill Chad. <laughs> Welcome back, Chad! I better be getting a raise for this. Oh, it's the pilot. Hey! I'm so thankful to you for saving my life. Oh, yeah, it's really not a problem. I totally didn't try to kill you by accident. Actually, I saved my life. <laughs> Actually, I saved my own life. We don't know how to fly a plane. <laughs> <laughs> because I can't live without you. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go with that one. <laughs> because I can't live without you. I need to go. Bye. I feel like I just got rejected. Please don't hang up on me. Please don't hang up. I'm desperate. Oh god, he hung up on me. What the flip? Promotion trivia time. Oh, wow. Okay. How long does it take to evaluate all passengers from an A380? How long? Okay. Um, hopefully five minutes. Five yes. Minutes. Correct Let's answer. go. What's the airport code for John F. Kennedy International Airport? Well, I'm going to guess it's probably JFK. There's also a smiley face, which leads me to believe that's the right answer. So JFK. JFK. Correct answer. I am absurdly Great. smart. You will do amazing at your job. That's yes. how we get promotions in the airport business? I love it. And we have been upgraded to standard economy class. All right, we're not going to be in the back of the plane anymore. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's the air Thank hostess you. of the I year. I heard you were promoted. I was actually. Yeah, I, uh, you know, hard work is always rewarded. Hard work is always rewarded. Yeah, you should try it sometime, lady. Hard word my beep beep. Excuse me? It's just the start. Sky is the limit for me. <laughs> <laughs> She's giving us a death stare. Ooh, we received a message. Let's see. We have chat, email, love match, and picture. Let's see our chat. Oh, it's from our mom. Hey, darling, where are you flying today? To the moon. <laughs> don't be rude. Okay, bye. Don't waste my time. <laughs> okay, and then post some pics on Insta when you reach there. Sure, I guess I will, Mom. Thanks a lot, Mom! Oh my gosh, what happened to this plane? What are people doing on planes nowadays? What has the world come to? What is that? There's chicken, there's cheeseburgers, there's cups. It looks like there's like Swedish fish on the ground. This looks like any parent's house after a five-year-old has a birthday party. I guess that is part of the job. You gotta clean up after the people that are flying. 
even if they are indespicable, grimy slugs of human beings that leave absurd amounts of trash on the floor. I'm gonna quit and I'm gonna become the president again. Keep it together, Jack. Keep it together. You got this. Okay, that's good enough. I'll, I'll leave the rest of it for Karen. We are one step closer to the grade one crew. Let's see. Okay, it looks like people need some things. Uh, you, sir, need this little polar bear neck pillow. You, my good sir, need a mask, so I will grab that for you. Don't mind if I do. This is also, might I add, the best plane I've ever seen. Look at the amount of leg room. I wish every plane was like this. And you, I, I guess you get headphones? I don't know what airline this is, but they are the best. It's time for a makeover. Do it, or I will keep looking ugly. Well, how do we do it? Oh, whoa, oh, sweet, I could spend money. What is it? I could change my hair. Now I'm no longer ugly. It's just that easy. Okay, well, I just spent $7,000 on brand new hair, so I'm gonna need to take this next job. Draw a line to the correct seat. Okay, so you're gonna wanna walk down here, maybe do uh, all the way down there. Come on back and go into your seat. That's not my seat. I literally drew the perfect line. Go to your seat. There it is. He didn't follow the lines. All right, A6 is gonna be back there into the right area. There we go, you get a little workout in and then go to your seat. All right, you're gonna go back and you're gonna climb over the seat. He walks, oh, it actually, I thought he was gonna glitch through, but the developers did a pretty good job with that one. There are six exits on this plane. Four doors, two on each side, and two window exits located over the wing. Thank you and enjoy your flight. I forgot what you explained. Sir, you really don't need to know it, and I'm not doing it again. I am not doing that if again. If the plane crashes, it's Sorry, your fault. I was busy looking at you. Whoa. Hey, hey. Do the same when we crash then, pal. Okay, do the same when we crash. Are we crashing? Uh, uh, yep, yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> we are taking off now. Shut up. We are taking <laughs> off now. I'm the worst air hostess ever. <laughs> Oh, no, it's Karen. <laughs> Go to cabin crew seat for takeoff. All right, Karen. But I need to handle this guy first. He's being an absolute gloober. He's being a glibble glob. Do that later. Um, all right. Thanks, Karen. How is she air hostess of the year? They're definitely playing favorites. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> sir, what is coming out of your nose? <laughs> this lady looks like she's about to murder this man. Okay, uh, don't worry, I am here to help. What's the problem? I want to change my seat. Okay, looks like we have a couple open seats. Um, all seats are actually full. All seats are full. Sorry about that. But I can see empty seats. Uh, true, 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 true. Yeah, no, about that, those are reserved. Those are reserved. It's true. Then I will sit in your seat and you sit near this guy. Wait, hold on, hold on. Do I, do I slap him or do I tie him up? I don't have any other options. I'm tying him up. Tie him up. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Don't worry, lady. We're going to take care of this because we are the best. You beat beat. I thought I was going to tie up the man who is currently one leg out of the plane, but I tied up the lady. It is tough being an air hostess. You got to deal with so many people. I have a terrible headache. Okay. Do I head massage or do I give him pills? Uh, I think pills is probably what a good air hostess would do. Don't worry, sir. I got you. Let me give you a head massage. I maybe clicked the wrong button. All right. Is that helping, sir? Is that good? Do okay, cool. All right. He I put him to sleep. How should I wake him up? Oh, God. Do I slap him or do I throw water on him? There's no good option to just wake him up gently. Maybe I can tap him on the shoulder. All right. We're throwing water at him. Wake up. Wakey, wakey. We're here. Thanks for giving me a shower. I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought he would have been a little bit mad that I poured water on him, but apparently he liked it. Hey, what's up, big guy? Uh, trivia time. Wait, what? Who are you? What do you know? Excuse me. I have some questions. Can you help me? Sure. Of course. Yep, yep. As an air hostess, you're always you supposed to say yes. Wow, okay. Do you work for the airport or are you just like a like a airplane enthusiast? Um, uh, once clear of the aircraft, of course. Once clear of the aircraft. Correct yeah. answer. I know, I know my stuff. Which one of these is not included in the flight attendant duties? Well, obviously to help passengers sleep. Apparently I am supposed to hold a passenger's infant. I did not know that. 
to help passengers sleep. Oh, no, that was the wrong answer. Wrong oh, God. Answer. But it had the smiley face. Good answers, but I think all are not correct. Okay. Yes! I am so excited that I got answers wrong. <laughs> I didn't realize I was so dumb. We're almost at grade one crew, and then I'm taking down Karen. Okay, what do we do? Find these items. All right, we were looking for a uh, very loaded cheeseburger. We're also looking for a uh, soda, I guess, and um, another soda. Okay, all right. Do I bring it to people now? Or is that like my lunch? Oh, oh gosh. Oh, my oh. God. Well, it's, uh, hey, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Why would you open that? I want to die because Jamie ditched me for someone else. I don't even know Jamie. Who is Jamie? Uh, close the door on your own or ask for help. I'm going to need help with this. Let's get, let's get a big guy over here. Somebody shut that. Please come for help. Please go. Yes, come on. Run faster. Stop running like you're a six-year-old child. What are you doing? I don't even know. Did we push the Karen out the window? She's okay. Never mind. She's back. Um. My dress got stuck. Well, whose fault is that, Karen? Do I cut the dress or remove her skirt? I'm just gonna cut it. I really don't care about it. Swipe down. There you go. Okay. Well, I guess that works. Wait, is that Karen? Oh, hey, hey, Karen. You ruined her clothes. Are you kidding me, Karen? I was trying to help your sister. But I saved her life, but Karen. I saved her life. That's what a good air hostess no does. Deal. Oh, wait. Something's wrong with Karen. Oh, hey, who's this? Not Karen. <laughs> Why did I you save, save my, my life? life? Um, I don't, I don't know because first off, you opened a door on an airplane. We were all at risk. And of course, I care about you as a human being. Because I care for you. Really? Then why are you dating Jamie? Um, how did you know about that? Oh no. How did you know that? How did you know that? You are a backstabber. I saved your life, lady. You are thankless. You are thankless. I literally saved her life and I stole her boyfriend. Trivia time. Which is why she wanted to jump off of the plane, so it's kind of my fault. To open window blinds during takeoff. They do it to see any irregularly blah, 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 outside. To see any irregularities Correct outside. answer. Thank you, thank you. What is 3.34 p.m. in 24-hour format? Okay, so 24-hour format, I think it's just like military time. So that would be 15.34. 1534. Correct answer. I got a promotion. Great. You will do amazing at your job. Thank yes. you. What a happy day. And just like that, we have been upgraded to premium economy class. Look at that. We got a cool little badge. Oh, sweet. We get a reward. I would like uh, to wait. No, I want bracelets. Yeah. Now I'm stylish. Okay, my job should get easier. Generally speaking, the people in first class are probably a lot nicer than the people in economy class. I've never been in first class, so I have no idea if that's the case. Find these prohibited items. Okay, well, you obviously, what is that? Is that an ax? You can't bring that on a plane. Um, where is it? Can I, can I look around? I don't see it anywhere. Uh, what about a wrench? Not allowed to bring a wrench. Oh, there's the ax. And um, you also can't bring boxing gloves. Uh, I think that heel is probably a problem too, but I'm gonna let you have it. How's it going? Oh, hey. Excuse me. Are you flying to LA? You're not Jamie, are you? Uh, yes. How can I help you? Yes. How can I help you? Want to make some quick money? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> you have to smuggle diamonds. <laughs> What was that cut? I slapped him and it got back. He kept going. Uh, I have never done this before. I have never done this before. Oh, I just realized my name's Slip Emma. Them somewhere. Okay, okay. Um, um, oh, cool. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. I barely asked any questions, but I am going to smuggle diamonds for this stranger. That's what a good air hostess does. The smuggler gifted you two golden tickets. Thank you. Oh, it's looking a little bit bumpy up here today. What's up, child? Move child. I want to eat. Um, nah. Nah, I'm not even gonna blink. Excuse me, are you listening? Nah, pee in this? Just pee in your pants. Pee in Just your pants, in child. Your pants. <laughs> but I have only one pair of pants. <laughs> How is that my problem? It's gonna dry up soon. It will dry up soon. <laughs> Imagine if an air hostess said that to you. <laughs> Drag food to the passengers. Okay. All right. Well, 
that's for you. Oh, this is actually a pretty good game. I, I didn't think that it was gonna have like all of the cool stuff that an air hostess does. This is my favorite part of any flight when the air hostesses bring around the food. All right, let's do that for you, good sir. This lady looks like she's seen some really bad stuff. She's legit losing hair over it. Same with these ladies. Is everybody on this flight okay? Oh God, um, okay, okay. I, I kept going and I almost forgot to give you your, your stuff because I was very, very focused on the people that looked like they were gonna crash the plane on purpose. Something was not right with that passenger crew. Emergency, guys, something's gone wrong. Um, oh, no, okay, uh, somebody, he's, he's choking. Okay, uh, save the child. Don't worry, I got this. Boom, boom, don't worry, don't worry. Everybody just stay calm, okay? Stay calm. Somebody blink. It's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be just fine. It's okay, boom. I did it. I did it. I saved your life. Breaking news. Hostess Emma saves the day and becomes the best air hostess the world has ever seen. I'm too good at this job. Oh no, it's Karen. Hey, Karen. Hey, you think you are smart? Then answer these questions for me. Okay, Karen. Yes, I am smart. Shoot. Okay. All right, let's see what you got. When did the first airplane fly? Oh God. Uh, 1903? 1903. Yes! Correct answer. Yes! Can an airplane fly with only one engine? Uh, yeah. Yes. Whoa! Correct answer. That's what I'm talking about, Karen. You thought you wow. were cool. You are really an expert. Wait, yes! she's actually being nice to me. I don't know how to feel towards Karen now. I thought she was going to be weird and smirky and make fun of me for being so smart. Another day on the plane. Hey, what's going on? Hello, Emma. Is it? Uh, why, who are you and what do you want with me? Mr. Brando? Wait, it's Ella, but you can call me Emma? My name is actually Ella? It's Ella, but you can call me it Emma. It says Emma right above my, my, Thanks for a wonder service. my bubbles. Uh, thank God, it's finally landing. Thank God, <laughs> it's finally landing. <laughs> Did I whisper that to myself? You know, I am a billionaire. Oh, actually? Kiss him on the head, okay. All right, billionaires get kisses on the head. Congrats. Will you marry me? Whoa, pal! Whoa! Whoa! Of course I will. Of course. I, I need will. money desperately. Cool. Let's get married when we land. Um, hey Karen. You are breaking the protocols. He proposed to me, Karen. He's also a billionaire. But he is a billionaire. Whatever. I think Karen might be a little jealous. Guys, I don't know how it happened, but today I'm becoming the president of the entire world. As president, the first law that I'm creating is that everybody watching today's video has to leave a like. If you don't, you'll just like go to jail for a couple of years. It looks like I'm about to be sworn in as president. Talk to me, I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. Or can we get to the fun part already? <laughs> can we please get can to the fun part? The fan part Look, a little devil came up. We have to take the oath first. Then we do the fun part. All right. Why does this guy look like a flight attendant? That I will faithfully execute the office of president. Uh, that I will steal all public property. Don't worry, guys. All of your all public, public property, property is now mine. Ha ha. Nice joke. I like your humor. <laughs> This guy isn't even making me say anything. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. And do absolutely nothing. I am going to be the worst president the world has ever seen. You should consider stand-up comedy. <laughs> Let's finish up. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution. Uh-huh. Okay. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution. Ah, finally. The end. It's over. Oh, finally the end. Yes. Let's get to work now. I love how he just gave up. Like, he didn't even make me say any of the oath. He just got tired of me. Congratulations. Go ahead and sign your oath, Mr. President. Oh, wow. Okay, we have to sign our a brand new oath. Connect the dots. Oh, gosh. Okay, connect the dots. There we go. All right, cool. That's my signature. Amazing. Yeah, presidential dance. <laughs> Set up your social media. Everybody knows presidents have to have social media so that they can interact with the humble citizens of the world. All right, cool. I'm going to have the most basic profile picture ever. Type your status. I promise to be the best president. I promise to be a dictator. I ran for president so that I could rule the world. And everybody that voted me into office knew exactly what I wanted. Cookies and world domination. 
I promise to be a dictator. At least everybody will know exactly what I'm trying to do. It's not like I'm like every other politician, you know, going up to the front office and lying about all the stuff that I'm actually doing. Here is a welcome to office gift for you. Oh, thank you. The citizens already love you. Of course they do. Everybody loves me. Why am I not surprised? They got me a commander in chief suit. I guess I'm British. Oh, yeah, she loves me too. Oh, what? Look at that. Look how fancy I look. Make new laws. Oh, this is exactly what I've been waiting for. My citizens, how are you guys doing today? Everyone should do the chicken dance? No, nobody should ever do the chicken dance. The chicken dance is now outlawed. Other than for me, because I am above the law. Everybody's gonna Discipline. love me. All citizens should fight. Oh, I kind of wanted to be a bad president and disapprove of everything. However, I feel like this is a law that a bad president should approve. We're gonna give this the green stamp. Approve. Okay, cool. I, I gotta do my beautiful signature. I honestly... Honestly, don't even know what my name is. You are the worst president. You are the worst president. <laughs> I can execute them. What? Who cares about your opinion? Yeah, we're gonna take the high road. Are they all actually fighting all each other? Should only work from Monday to Wednesday. Ooh, I'm gonna have to disapprove that. Sorry, disapprove. guys. Ban all Netflix accounts. No more Netflix and chill. I'm gonna also approve this one. This one feels good. Everybody's gonna be able to work harder and faster without Netflix in existence. Hello, Mr. President. I am here to talk about the Oscars award ceremony. Oh, the Oscars. I didn't know the president was involved in the Oscars. We have the most famous celebrities coming into the country to attend. Oh, awesome. I need your approval to hire more police officers for these world-class celebrities. Why do you need more police? We have enough police officers around. I feel like both of these are negative answers, but honestly, yeah, we probably have enough police officers. You know, it's a bunch of celebrities. What are they going to do? Burn down the Oscars? Somebody might slap somebody else? Who cares? We have enough police officers around. Last year, one of the celebrities slapped the host. We need more protection this year. <laughs> <laughs> was it a good slap though? <laughs> uh, was it a good slap though? Ha uh ha, -huh, I have to say, it seems quite painful to be honest. Almost got sick. <laughs> good! That's exactly what I want when I'm enacting world domination. I want chaos and destruction to run rampant! I just realized we've made $4,000 as president. Pardon death row prisoners. Oh, what's up guys? How's everybody doing? Okay. Have to pay for my daughter's hospital oh. bill. Oh. <laughs> what is your daughter's name? What is your daughter's name? Okay, I lied. I don't have a daughter. You couldn't think of any name? Sally, Amanda, Jemima. You know, there's three completely normal daughter names right there. Execute. You're execute. gone. You're gonna get tased to death. Oh, wow. I am doing the executing. I am the most hands-on president the world has ever seen. I killed my dog. Oh, no, you didn't. But he ate my sandwich. Hmm. Will you do it again? Will you do it again? I cannot promise not to. I really love my food. Plus, dogs stink. Why would you get a dog if you didn't like having a dog? Die! Get out of here! Get- get tased to death! Alright, I, I didn't really mind killing him. Anybody that doesn't like animals probably has some deeper issues going on. Care. I hate my life. Just execute me already. Wait, why are you so sad? Why are you so sad? My wife left me, and I became a thief. Oh, I want to kind of forgive this guy, but I did commit to chaos and destruction, so I don't really want to do this. However, I am a man of my word. All right, one more to go. I beat up a guy who stole my car. I do not deserve this. What type of car was it? Which type of car was it? A Lamborghini. Ooh. Now you see why I beat him up. Mmm, not quite. Why beating up another man is illegal act wait hold on i'm pretty sure i actually made it legal so we're gonna forgive you you can go away home free this is a tough job are you single i find you so hot meow kisses what <laughs> um i I'm, I'm pretty sure i'm married but let's talk more with the dms but let's talk more in the DM. I only have 99 followers as the president? Hey, uh, really? Pay for my college tuition. Mmm, nah, I'm not your sugar I'm daddy. not your sugar daddy. What is your favorite snack? My your own business, Mind lady. Own business. Get out of here, Nancy. Which song are you currently jamming to? Baby shark doo 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 doo. I guess people like baby shark because I just got 56 followers. I don't even know what you said. You are delusional. You are delusional. Get out of here, beard king. Military requirements. Strong, only adults, but no beards. I, I literally can't even see the person that I'm supposed to be looking at, so you're disqualified. Disqualified. Also disqualified. 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 Get out of here! How many times do I have to tell you that you're not fit to be in the military? I do appreciate how you don't take no for an answer, so you're now approved. 
Hey, what the heck? Uh, disqualified. Why can't I disqualify you? Is there a way I can break the game like this and become the worst dictator the world has ever seen in this game? But I do this for the next 10 minutes and tell you what happens. All right, fine. You're now approved. Uh, disqualified. That's right. Get out of here. We don't need you. Disqu I, I, come on, dude. All right. It doesn't let me disqualify people that are apparently not clothed. Everybody go ahead and give me some jumping jacks. Amazing. Okay, good. Perfect. Awesome. You guys did great. Do some squats. I cannot take it anymore. You did five up. jumping jacks. Five jumping jacks, and you went down? You were all just weak. Go home. You all are just weak. <laughs> Go home. This is all a big, fat waste of time. Interesting, interesting. Are my bazooka, I will send them to heaven. Or what? Hold my beer. Uh, what? guys, Hold what the beer. heck are they doing down there? Huh? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure I see the problem. Broke up yesterday. Arguing in public. Hmm, blow them up or all good? What would George Washington do? All right, boys, blow them up. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, what's going on over here? Let's see. Nude party in the park. Hmm. I don't think Abraham Lincoln would like this. You're going to get blown up. <laughs> I love committing mass murder. Killed his friend. All good. Blow up or asteroid attacked. I can literally control natural disasters as president. I have the powers of God, but let's just use our rocket. What are you guys up to? It, it literally doesn't even matter. I don't care if you're saving a kitten from a tree. Um, you're going to get blown up. And apparently that didn't hit the child that was getting bullied. So that's good, I guess. What are you guys up to? Enjoying a first date at the park. Nobody else can date but the president. I'm not sure if you guys saw the brand new laws. You might want to read them sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is too much fun. I am slowly and steadily driving this country into the ground, and I love it. Some lawyers are here to recommend new laws. Oh, okay, are they? Uh, slaps for anyone who recommends stupid laws. Make sure they know that. Slaps for anyone who recommends stupid laws. Enjoy your meeting. Shut up and leave already. Shut up and leave already. <laughs> I feel bad a little bit. I mean, as a president, I'm not going to tell her that I feel bad. I'm going to keep being a jerk. Make only fans illegal. Huh. Slap. That's stupid. Stupid law. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him the Will Smith. Arrest anyone who adds milk before cereal. Oh, I mean, mm, I kind of want to slap him again, but we're going to we're going to ask why. why. Anyone who does this is capable of murder. Nah, that, that's valid, actually. Approve. We're going to approve that. That was the smartest law I think I've ever heard suggested. Arrest anyone who does not collect their dog's poop. Ooh, I do think that's a pretty good idea. You know, there's dog poop everywhere. It's a rising issue in this country. However, I kind of like it. Kind of like when there's dog poop everywhere. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to re reject that. I want everybody Double to slip and fall in dog poop. Game of Thrones. Double tax everyone? Wait, no. What? Wait, why? Why? Almost everyone will get taxed. That's more money for the government. I kind of want to hire this person. They're devious and I like it. All right. You're now hired. You're my new secretary of money. <laughs> President of the winter camp is calling. Hello, Mr. President. How Hi. Are you doing? Uh, oh, wow. You are good looking. Or there's a secondary option that I just can't read because the developers of this game, I don't know what they did. Oh, wow. You are good looking. What's up? I wanted to congratulate you on becoming president. The objective is to convince her to date. Uh, let's do this one. Thank you. I look forward to working with you. I am planning a diplomatic visit to your country. Ooh, we should do some Netflix and we chill. do some Netflix and chill. Honestly, you are also irresistible. Come to my hotel room when I arrive. I will have some wine and chocolate ready for us. Are you down? Am I down? I hope your spouse will not um, know about this. Um, 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 I'm gonna do it. Eedy, meedy, money, mo. Catch us tiger by the toe. If y'all let him go. Eedy, meedy, money, mo. I picked the very best one and I pick you. This one. That sounds good. That was totally Don't random. Worry, I have done this before. How does tomorrow sound? Um, um, sure. Let's do it later today. 4 p.m. I am glad I talked to you. I have been wanting to make a move since I saw you. What the heck? Is this actually what happens with presidents? Did everybody want to date them? Oh my gosh. Doctor enters. Hello, Mr. President, I am Dr. Fuawzi, the best doctor in this country. Ah, yes, Dr. Fuawzi, the best doctor in the country. Yes, hi, we nice to meet you. We just discovered a new deadly virus that is killing people. It can become a pandemic. Okay. I need your approval to inform the press and alert everyone. <laughs> Who even hired you? Leave my office. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to ask about the virus. Oh no. I said get out of here. I said, get out. Oh my. 
<laughs> fake news! It's all fake news! Get out of here, lady! Grant business permits. From poop. Nope, denied. Get out of my face. What else we got? Hello, lady. I want to give all homeless kids a place to stay. That's amazing. Permit denied. I am not interested. Sorry. Oh, it's this guy again? Guns to the military. Um, guns? <laughs> you should be arrested. <laughs> How is he getting his guns? guns? Incredible you Guns Ltd. That's an incredible name for a gun company. I be honest. I just want to sell drugs. Permit granted. Permit granted. Amazing. Granted Go sell business. all the drugs. My company will be selling fried vegetables. Uh, no. I only eat meat. Get out of here. <laughs> I only eat meat. Get out of here. Oh gosh, dude, I am the worst influence ever. <laughs> it pays to be an awful president, apparently. We need to expand our territory by invading other countries. Okay, well, as supreme ruler of the entire world, I will invade and kill all foreign citizens. I will invade and kill all foreign citizens. They'll all be under we my control. Be which country we invade. Why? Why do we have to be Let's careful? Invade a country that is gold. It will oh. make our economy better. Is that how that works? I thought we were after oil. I thought oils make economies better. Uh, let's see. Pico has gold, no army. Or Winter Camp has big army, has bombs, wins all wars. Hmm. Do I take the easy route with Pico or do I invade Winter Camp? Even though I'm pretty sure I am dating the supreme leader of the Winter Camp. So we're going to invade them. Let's see how this goes. Uh, did I win? Um, pretty sure I won. Let's go take out Ref Reef. They have nuclear bombs. They also have gold and they have an army. Hmm. Or do we go for the country of Savaland that has no army, they're rich, and they have gold and oil? Why do all of these rich countries not protect themselves? No, we're going to go ahead and we're going to bomb Ref Reef. Hmm. I think we're doing pretty good. Um, <laughs> we can attack Winter Camp again? <laughs> <laughs> I did it! Well done. Thank you! We salute you, President. Your country's territory has grown. Yes! Did it? I don't really know if we won any of those battles, but I'm gonna take the word of that guy. Ooh, drag to clean. Is this... Oh, best, oh, best president? No. No. You guys seriously didn't have to. <laughs> guys, today I'm super excited. I am becoming a baby. Choose your baby. I like this baby. Oh, wow. That's a nice looking baby. What is your name? My name is not Lewis. My name is Seymour Buttlicker. Okay. Seymour B for short. Oh, look at that. We're crawling to age number one. Oh, I'm adorable. Nobody pick me up. I'm just a baby. Oh, hey. There's dad. I like a supportive father. And then we have a, a crazy mom. Uh-huh. Doing crazy stuff, because she's crazy. I'm given a decision. I get to pick between dad and mom. Well, considering my dad looks like he's been fresh out of prison, I'm going to go with my mom. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm going to go with you, Bob. Hey, oh, uh, ex what, what's going on? Wait, what? Was my dad going to do the same exact thing, or was he going to use a bottle? On to age number two. Whoa, look at that. I got a little bit bigger. I don't have a binky anymore. I'm still in a diaper, but I got pretty tall. This is just like real life. Okay, well, hey, mom. What are you doing all the way over there? Do I have to crawl to you? Oh, God. Oh, what What if I... Okay. <laughs> Retry. No, thanks. I failed year number two. These are formidable years that I need to make sure that I don't mess up. Mom! Mom, please help me. I guess this is what builds character as a child. Mom, please don't let the ball touch me. I'm scared. I'm scared of balls. How is this thing even moving back and forth, Mom? There's a poltergeist living in our house, and you're not even a smidge concerned. <laughs> don't worry. I reached my mom, and now I get to be age three. If only life was actually this easy. Oh, wow. Look at that. My mom finally bought me a shirt after I'm three years old. Took long enough. Hey, Mom. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Oh, whoa. I just miraculously evolved as a child, and I can now stand on two limbs. Nice. Let's see. I can play with the vase, or I can play with the toy knight. Most normal kids would probably pick the toy knight. However, Seymour Buttlicker is no normal child. He likes to play with vases. All right, let's grab that. What am I going to do with it? Smash it and kill my mom? Oh, 
Dad, no! Oh god, I murdered my dad! Um, sorry about that, dad. <laughs> I didn't pass year three. I can only get older if I make the right decisions. I guess having a dad is important, so it is good that I maybe don't accidentally give my dad a concussion, so he goes into a coma and never remembers us. I will concede and I'll pick the toy knight, like any normal boy. Yes, there we go. I love my knight. I will name him Mr. Buttlicker. Hey, dad. I, I kind of didn't realize that you were even in my life because I didn't see you the first two years of my life. Um, did I break that? Oh. <laughs> totally normal reaction that every father has probably had to their child. Oh, I get a star. Wow, my dad's so proud of me, he gave me a gold star. Am I evolving? Am I actually a Pokemon? Well, I guess I do kind of look like a five-year-old child now. What are five-year-olds up to these days? Oh wait, I'm already in school? I feel like I wasn't in school until I was like six or seven. What's happening to my head? Well, I guess that might be a love interest behind me. Maybe, possibly, Jennifer. I mean, she seems cute enough. Do I invite her for lunch or do I eat alone? I feel like I'm gonna be the loner child. I'm too nervous to talk to any other children. That's so sad. They're all eating lunch. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna have no friends growing up. Now that I'm six years old and have uh -uh. no friends, I guess my mom doesn't... What in the tarnation happened to that toilet? That's not even like a normal dirty toilet. That toilet looks like it's been through at least two world wars and maybe my father. Somebody actually fully diarrheaed all over this toilet and I am being forced to clean it, even though I swear I didn't do this. This is child labor at its finest. All right, well, I guess one sponge will clean all of the rust and many years of trauma that this toilet has been through. This has to be a sham wow. And we have done it. I love how the game lets me keep going if I really like this task and I want to make it extra sparkly. I'm going to be one of those overachiever kids. Okay, 99%. That is more than passing. <laughs> yes. Okay, it looks like the game sort of diverges into two different paths. So based on the decisions that I make when I'm seven years old, it'll affect if I die. Wait, do I go past there? D is that death? Do I die when I'm nine years old? Or if I go to the left, then I can continue living down the path of life. Okay, this is a big decision for a seven-year-old to make. Me and the fam, we're on a vacation. We have an RV, apparently, so I guess we have a little bit of cash. And I think there's another family over there. All right, they look like they're having a grand old time. Let's see, do I join them for three diamonds or do I fish? Well, considering I only have one diamond, I, I guess I'm gonna fish alone. All by myself. <laughs> you guys wanna join me? You guys wanna fish? Does anybody want to fish with me? Or you got okay. All right, cool. You guys look like you're having a lot of fun. I'm I'm gonna fish myself. Look at that. Look at that. I caught a fish. While you guys are over there starving, I'm actually gonna eat food. Look at that. That is some nice looking mackerel I just brought in. There we go. Okay, good. I went down the path of life. I'm not gonna die. Turns out playing with those kids would have been an untimely death for me. Seymour Butlicker refuses to die. Okay, I have to tag everyone. How do I move? Do I just, do I wait for them to run into me? Oh, there we go. Figured out how to move. And you've been tagged. You've been tagged. Come here, Francis, you're mine. <laughs> Got him. That was the easiest <laughs> game of tag of my life. All right, eight-year-olds are playing tag. What are nine-year-olds up to? Oh, I think my hair changed. Oh, all right. So it looks like it's around spooky season. Anything inside? I guess I can pull out a banana or a clown. I don't know. Are these like snacks? Am I eating the banana or the clown? Or are these Halloween costumes? Because it's really unclear with the decisions that I'm presented with. I think I'm going to go for the clown. Okay, good. I didn't dress up as a banana. Even though the clown is arguably worse. That is some clown costume. Luckily, it seems like... Whoever these children are that I, I guess I now have friends, they also decided to dress up and go as hard as I did. Amazing. Oh, what was this? Batman? Is that a grown man? Yo, what the heck, bro? Did we just get assaulted by a grown 40-year-old man and die? Well, I guess the right choice here was, after all, the banana. And it was really unclear as to why the banana was the right choice. All right. What's up, guys? Okay, good. Luckily, you guys also didn't dress up as a Joker because we would have all died together. Is Batman still going to be there? No. All right, cool. So Batman's not there. Where are we going? Oh, are we just trick-or-treating? Do we go to the nice house or the spooky house? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I would always go to the spooky house. The spooky houses generally had some of the best candy. <laughs> hey, 
Thank you. See, look at that. They just handed us like a barrel's yeah. worth of candy. <laughs> awesome. Now that I have cavities, we're gonna age up and we're 10 years old. What is inside of that pool? Huh? Are we all just willingly swimming in a pool of black tar? I feel like I'm ready to get out of this. We're all gonna die within like two years of this. I thought I picked the life route. What is happening? Am I drowning? It's really difficult to tell because everything is so black and dark. I think I just drowned in black tar. Okay, we're gonna keep training. One hour later, everybody's floating because they died. In one hour, I became Michael Phelps. I'm gonna go on to the Olympics. What did you just say to me? I think these are like Sims characters where they don't actually speak any actual language. Let's see, all right, he wants me to clean the car. Where did I teleport to? Did my father put me through a portal into like the flat earth world? All right, where else do I have to clean? Is that it? Oh wait, never mind. I could, I could do more or just, just next, okay. Now I am God floating above the car. <laughs> this is amazing. I might just open up my own car washing business. I feel like I'm extraordinary at this. Also dad, what happened to your car? I feel like somebody for sure did that on purpose because that did not look like normal wear and tear. <laughs> Oh, big decision coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the left side has a star. The right side, it looks like I die once again. The path kind of ends. So we're gonna try to figure out what the right decision is so I don't die. Do I pray for world peace or do I decide that God doesn't exist? It'll be real awkward if I pick that because there is a priest standing right to my left. Let's just see what happens if I click God doesn't exist. Is there an earthquake? I think I've just summoned the reckoning. <laughs> God ah! almost just killed me. <laughs> well, yeah, that <laughs> happened. <laughs> Good, that was apparently the right option because if I decided that I wanted world peace, I think I would have died. Let's see, and I also wouldn't have gotten this gold star and I wouldn't have aged up. I now have a cool jacket. It's the first jacket I've ever owned. My parents don't really like to buy me things. Ooh, all right, we're at school. Hey, all right, what's going on, everybody? What's up, Stan, Lisa, June? Hey. <laughs> Hey, excuse me. Am I dead? <laughs> I think I just died. <laughs> do I fight or do I keep walking? I think I can take him. <laughs> I look like a scrawny 13 year old, but I know Kung Fu. That's right. <laughs> oh, tap the punch, punch. <laughs> Boom. Oh, that was weak. Oh God. <laughs> what is this one kid doing? <laughs> He's doing th this sort of dance. These are totally normal reactions when watching a school fight. Okay, I'm going for the max, which is all the way up there. <laughs> Boom, knocked him out. <laughs> That's right. You don't mess with me. Everybody get out of my way. Oh, I got the girl too. <laughs> Life's too easy for 13 year old Seymour Buttlicker. What's this circle coming up? Is there a reality where I can constantly be 15 years old? It's like Groundhog Day where I keep just doing the same day over and over again. Okay, so after that fight, I now have a girlfriend. Her name is September. And I got to figure out a way to get to September without, I guess, running into people. <laughs> well, it's more difficult than it looks. Oh god. <laughs> everybody keeps ragdolling. I kind of want to purposely run into everybody so they think that something's wrong with me. <laughs> this is worse than the NBA. Everybody is flopping so hard. Don't worry, September, I'm almost there. I just got to tackle this dude <laughs> that is running aimlessly in the hallways. Like, what is he possibly doing? I don't know. What if I stand in his way? What if I just stand here? He could see me. How did you run into me? Uh, hey, September. All right, no. sorry. Yeah, I had some business to deal with and people you to tackle. Like, what? Lemna. Um, huh? what is happening right now? Oh, God. Oh, God, it's my first kiss. <laughs> I'm only 14 years old. Let's go, dude. All right, on to 15 years old. I'm a man now. Okay, yep, I was just having a nice old dream. Okay, all right, stop yawning. Do I go to school or do I skip school? Am I sick? Is there a reason to skip school or do I just get the option to not go to school? I mean, I would highly recommend everybody should go to school if they can, but we're gonna skip school. So on my day off, what do I do? Oh, hey, September. Oh, these are all the people that I tackled in the hallway, aren't they? Papa Naomi. Okay, yep. I guess she said, let's run into the forest together because that's the only reasonable explanation here. So is that the last time? <laughs> we, we, wait, what? 
What? <laughs> what just happened? I skipped school so we could frolic around in the forest? Okay, next up, by the way, it looks like we're going from ages 16 to either 17, or this decision could turn me into a 21-year-old. I don't know how we're gonna skip five years. I guess it'll be like after Thanos snapped, just like it cuts to five years later. All right, this guy's doing some squats. You just died? Oh, never mind. Okay, there's water at the bottom. They're all jumping in. It's Seymour Butlicker in September, the greatest love of the century, and it looks like we can either jump or don't jump, but jumping costs money. Let's see, I can get 35 gems for $3. I want to see if this is the route that takes me automatically to age 21, so I maybe bought it. Wait, what? That was the weirdest slow-mo ever. I don't know why they did like a freeze frame slow-mo there, but let's see. Was that the right option? Apparently not, because if I did the other option, I would be 21 years old if I didn't jump. Now I want to figure out what happens if I didn't jump. If you guys do want to see more of this game where I do different routes, make sure you guys leave a like and comment down below what I should do next time. Uh -oh. What did you just say to me? What, what's going on? I'm trying to play video games, September. Uh -oh. Just go do your own stuff. Wait, don't you dare. Don't. Are you kidding me right now? Do I ignore her or do I hug her? Well, I don't know if hugging her is the best option here because she did just unplug my game that I was playing. There's no option to throw her out the window. Okay, we're just gonna hug her because I guess maybe that's what she wants. No, no. Oh, she doesn't want that? Does, okay. <sighs> so you're just gonna unplug my game and leave? <laughs> what do you want? I don't understand women. Wow, okay, 20 years old. There's a lot of different options here. I'm evolving once again. I've become a legendary Pokemon, I mean, kid. A legendary kid. All right, it looks like I've gone the emo route. And it seems like there are one, two, three, four, five different paths in my life that I could take. I better get five decisions right now. Okay, let's see. So we're scrolling on our phone. We're on TikTok, having a good time. Oh, okay. So it looks like we're on a dating app. We're on like Tinder. Do I like Michelle? I guess me and September aren't dating anymore. So let's go. No, uh, definitely not Alice. Oh, hey, <laughs> what's going on, cutie? Okay. All right. Yeah, I like you. Are you sure? It asked me, am I sure about this? Yes. 1000% sure. All right, looks like that takes me right down the middle path. So what kind of life is Seymour Butlicker gonna live now that I have a gorilla as a girlfriend? Seems like it's going pretty well. <laughs> we're just causing havoc. We're we're going to the arcade. We're having dance parties. Let's see, do, do, we, do we rob this place for jewelry or bananas? I feel like I gotta take care of my, my brand new girl, Gloria the gorilla. Let's go for some bananas, Gloria. Amana guy. Yep, you want some um, Amana guy? Yeah, she likes that. I know how to take care of Gloria. Gloria's a simple girl. She likes dancing. She likes amusement parks. She likes car crashes. And she likes bananas. It does kind of look like things might go wrong. Oh, oh, we're on an island together. I wonder if my parents approve of this. Let's see. Oh my gosh, we're conquering the island. I did not see this going in this direction. I feel like we're just the happiest of people. Look at that. Gloria's watching over me. We're on a deserted island together, living life. We're, we're kind of hungry because apparently we decided to, you know, move out here and get rid of all of natural civilization's amazing things like Uber Eats, McDonald's. We didn't want any of that. No, we wanted to fight for our coconuts and fish. I guess I'll go for some coconuts. I mean, I don't know why Gloria can't just climb the tree. She is a gorilla. Oh, wait, is she gonna kill me? Oh my god, what? Gloria just murdered me. Okay, I can see why this might not work out. Gloria has a little bit of a temper problem. We can speed up the process of our love life. <laughs> yeah. All right, Gloria, obviously you don't want a coconut. You want some fish. Oh, wait, I just pulled a fish out of the water. Gloria's like, yeah, you go see more butt liquor. And then she does her happy dance. I love when she does her happy dance. All right, 25 years old, and I think this might be the end of the line. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Wait, so, okay, we, we spent a couple years on the island. The island has elephants, horses, cows, a giraffe, which I'm pretty sure only exists in Africa. Gloria has a wedding gown on, and somehow we figured out how to make a bell in the middle of nowhere. 
And that's it. <laughs> we died at 25 years old with a net worth of zero dollars, no career, minimal strength, and I was kind of happy. Lately, I've had a lot of odd jobs. I've been a teacher, a waitress, a police officer, and even the president of the world. And I was actually so good at these jobs that I think I just got my best offer yet. A judge. And I love judging people. This might be my best job yet. What is this? Potential evidence items. A knife and a gun? Why are they labeled wrong? Is that a coffee cup? Finally, something useful. Ah, yes, a coffee Finally, cup. something useful. Hello, judge. Is this as evidence helpful? Um, uh, uh, yup, that looks like a gun to me. That's a gun if I've ever seen one. Definitely, good Definitely. job. Good job. Good afternoon, Judge. I hope this is helpful. What is that? A basket of fruit? Nope, we're not looking nope, for that. we are not looking for that. Judge, I found this at the crime scene. Let's see, that is most obviously a knife. Yeah, good job. Yeah, good job. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna uphold the law. I am the law. Hello, hi, how you doing? Hi, I'm Billy's lawyer. I came to discuss the case. Billy, Billy, who's Billy? Oh, Billy! The kid that murdered a man. Make it short. Don't spend my Make time. Make it short. Don't spend my time. Billy is just a kid. He killed that guy to protect his mother. Interesting story. Please don't send him to jail. Well, Billy did do it to protect his mom, so I guess I'll think it over. Hmm. You are right. I'll think about it. You are the best judge ever. Thank you. See, I am so good at these jobs. Oh, is this Billy? That kid is the devil. <laughs> The little boy was only protecting his mom. Okay, all right, all right. Settle down in the court. Settle down in the in the court. Why am I playing whack a mole? Order in my court. I will have order. Billy. Silence. Your Honor, we brought you the mother of the suspect. Oh the hi. Son was protect. Objection. Your Objection. Honor. She is a victim. It is not appropriate. Sustain. Sustain. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I don't know why I am here. Billy, I know you're probably traumatized. However, you murdered a man, Billy. You don't tell me you don't know why you're here, Billy. Remember, son, you are under oath. Remember, son, you are under don't oath. Don't you dare lie to me, yes, Billy. Your Honor, I will always tell the truth. So, is it true that you murdered that man? So, is it true that you murdered that man? Murder? Are you joking? I'm just a kid. The people in the background look so dumbfounded. Look, I know you did it. So confess it right look, now, Billy! I know you did it. Tell me so you did confess it! confess it. Maybe I did it, but you can't prove it. Wait, I can't? Is he right? Am I about to get bested by an 11-year-old? I hid my gun very well. You literally just admitted to it, didn't you, kid? What is this? Oh, wait, I have it. Crap, hold on. Which one was the gun and which one was the knife? Okay, wait a second. This one was technically the gun. It was a knife named gun, and this is a gun named knife. I'm gonna hit this one. I, I have uh -huh. it. This proves nothing. This is all you can do. Wait, no. no hold on. Hold on. Wait, I got confused. They were mislabeled. This is the evidence. Oh, my God. You found it. <laughs> I hit it very well in my toy box. <laughs> we got him. We got him. Oh my gosh. We arrest him? Do we let him go? Or do we execute Billy? Do you guys have any ideas in the back? Billy is only 11 years old, so I feel like he should go to jail. No. To jail. I my mom in prison. She could come visit you in prison, Billy. You should have thought about that before you shot somebody with a knife. Hey, Judge. Hey. I think you made the best decision on the last case. Oh, really? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I think I did a pretty good job. Anyways, let's not talk about work here. What do you want to talk about? This coffee shop is my favorite. Did you like it? Why are you talking like a robot? All right, I decided not to answer her, and we're back at work. Hey, what's up, Cher Nairnan? Today we have a special case. Oh, a special case. Okay, cool. Send him in. You are going to see OJ Simpson on the court today. Okay. He is accused of killing his ex-wife and her friend. Yeah, I did hear about that. I thought he got away with that. Hi again, Judge. I'm very excited to see you. You again? Give me the case, then leave. You again. Give me the case, <laughs> then leave. Today's case is about a guy who robbed a bank. What happened to OJ Simpson? Did he rob a bank too? He got away with millions of dollars. Good luck. I mean, yeah, he was a football player, so he already had millions to begin with. Let's see. Okay, never mind. OJ Simpson, that was just a smokescreen. OJ Simpson isn't actually a real case. Today, we're going to be seeing John, 31 years old, and he's a male. Sup, John the Robber? Sup, John the Robber? 
come, come to court, court ASAP. ASAP. Bring me the money, Bring the as, money well. as well. This seems like I'm texting him. Like he's a long lost buddy. Also, why does my signature change every time? All right, let's go ahead and stamp that top G. Hey, what's going Dude, on, guys? Can you use this evidence? That is a Rubik's Cube and probably not. I don't think you could do any crime with that other than waste people's time. No. Why would it be helpful? Hello, Judge. Is this as evidence helpful? Gary, we've been over this, okay? Fruit is not evidence unless there's a knife hidden inside the banana. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? That's junk. Judge, what about this? I found this at the crime scene. Oh, okay. Well, you found it at the crime scene, so, uh, uh, of course. Of course. Of course. Well done. Thank you. Hey, Judge, can you use this as evidence? A gun? How is that a, gu a gun? It doesn't even look like a gun. And this one says knife, but it's a money bag. Do I need to get my glasses checked? Yep, definitely. definitely. Totally. Good job. That is a weird looking Good afternoon, gun. Judge. I hope this is helpful. Yep, that is a knife if I've ever seen one. Finally, something useful. Ah, there's nothing like another day upholding the law. Hi, I'm John's lawyer. Hey. I came to discuss about the case. What's going on, Gerald? Welcome. What is it you want to discuss? Did he not just say what he wanted to discuss? Maybe we're trying to confuse him by asking him questions we already know the answers to. Welcome. What is it that you want to discuss? Well, I will cut it short. I'm related to the robbery as well. Hold up now, wait, what? You're telling me you were involved in the robbery, but you're also his lawyer. What? Also, is that me on the bottom right? Because gosh dang, am I handsome and a little pixelated. Tell me more. We can give you some cash if you let oh. my guy go free. Hmm, interesting. How much cash are we talking about? Because I am willing to break bad for the right amount of money. How much are we talking? I can give you $2,000. Oh, ha ha, make that $10,000 $10, and leave the office. Leave All right, let's office. see. Okay, okay. 10,000 it is. I'll see you on court. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how it's done. That's how you make money. I might be the worst judge ever. Okay, well, where's my money? Hold up, I gotta play whack-a-mole real quick. All right, cool, bet. Silence. Now we're tied. Now we're ready. It's time for the Higher for the judging. Brought you a witness. Okay, who we he got? Is the security guard of the bank that was robbed. Okay, cool. Who is? Okay, I saw that guy. Objection, your honor. Who dressed that there man? There is no security camera footage to prove that. Okay, we're gonna sustain that one. Sustain. Well put. Okay, let's get this over with. I have things to do. Remember, John, you are under oath. To the I top one. I have seen lots of fools like you. So don't lie to me. Okay, judge. I love the people in the background. The defendant and the prosecutor freeze. The developers of this game were so lazy that they didn't even bother to give them like a like a rocking animation or anything. They just stopped moving. You, you are, are accused, accused of robbing, of robbing a, bank. a bank. What, what do, do you, you say? say? I should have lots of money if I robbed it, but I don't. That is a good argument, actually. Oh gosh. Okay. Do I click one of these? Um. Okay. There wasn't really any information here. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull out my knife. Oh. Okay. I admit that I did it. Wait. No. I should have taken the job instead of robbing the bank. Wait. 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 I want my ten thousand dollars. No. Wait. Um. I have to let him go. It's the only way. I need my money. Oh, really? I think my you have yes. earned a friend amongst yes. powerful people. Okay, good. I don't know exactly who you are. Maybe you're related to the president, even though technically I'm the president. Entering restricted area. Crime narrative. Stole the purse of an old lady. That is awful. Why would you steal the purse, especially from an old lady? Arrested. Damn criminal. Serve your time. Get out of my face, criminal. Assault. Punched a shoplifter in the face. You know, that's actually good. They were probably trying to defend the store. All right, you're Consider free to go. yourself lucky. I don't know where I found this set of twins that have the same exact outfit on, but they look menacing. I also have twins in front of me right now. Crime narrative. Pass the speed limit by two miles per hour trying to go to the hospital. Wait, there, there's a bribe? I can either arrest them or I take the bribe. I feel like that's not even a crime. All right, you're arrested. You don't deserve sunlight. <laughs> you don't deserve sunlight. Vandalism. Made an insulting graffiti to the current US president. That's where I draw the line. I am the current US president and the president of the entire world. To prison! Go to prison. To prison! Get out of my sight, you rapscallion. Okay, day 10 on the job. This is exhausting. Hey, judge. There is a very heartbreaking case today. Okay, let's see. Dwarf Vader, Dark Lord. Is that Darth Vader? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna skip that one because I I, I don't think I want that one. Hey, Judge. That's all. You are on fire these days. I don't need to give you guys a reason. Oh yeah, I'm on fire. I have been tracking your cases. 
I love your works. <laughs> come, come on. Thank you. You should learn some things from me because I'm the learn best. From me. I'm really Anyways, good. Anyways, here is your today's case. Okay, what do we have it today? It's about a homeless person attacking another person. Oh, Shararin. Okay, that sounds intense. I know that you will make a good judgment. That is what I do as the world's most top renowned judge. All right, bring him By in. By the way, I'm still waiting for you to invite me to a new date. Hey, Shararin, I am married. I have three children. Stop it. Okay, actually, maybe after this case. Well, maybe after this case. Anyways, great. I will be waiting for you. And then there's a happy face. I feel like she's texting me, but she's also speaking in the text. It's a very strange dynamic. Good luck. Thank you, Shararin. All right, murderer, Ezekiel, age 47. Sup, dude? Sup, dude. You assaulted an innocent man. Come to court. You assaulted an innocent man. Come Let's to do court. my Illuminati signature real quick. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Dude, can you use this evidence? Mm, are you dumb? No, are you that's dumb? junk. That's junk. Good afternoon, Judge. I hope this is helpful. I don't understand how that would be helpful. How would that be helpful to my case? That is a video game controller. But I'll take it. Yes, give it to me. Judge. I found this at the crime scene. Ah, yes. Another knife. I'll take it. Of course. Well done. Hey, Judge, mm. can you use this as evidence? Yeah, I can. I can. That is for sure a gun. Definitely. That Good is a, job. That is a gun if I've ever seen one. Hey, what's up, Shararin? Hi, Judge. I am Ezekiel's lawyer. Wait, Shararin? You're a lawyer? I thought... You're... What? I thought you were working with me. Are you not my personal assistant? You're also working for Ezekiel? I feel betrayed. All right, Shararin. The state assigned me to this case forcefully. Okay, well, whatever, Shararin. Can you just end this case fast? I want to get paid immediately. Oh, wow. Shararin really means business. Dude, just resign now if you're not going to do your job. Yes, yeah, Shararin. Dude, just resign now if you are not going to do your job. Why would I resign? I get paid from this. She does make a good point. Can you just end it quickly? I can have better cases that can get me paid better. Okay, I won't say yes but I'm not going to say no. I'll see you on court day. We'll see you on the court day. I believe in you. Thank you. Bye, Shararin. I'll, I'll see you at the office again later. Oh, gosh. I thought he had no pants on. And without any reason, he is guilty. Wait. Just that, huh? the court. I want to get paid immediately. Okay. 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 So this... Okay. Uh, hold on. Whack-a-mole. Gotta play whack-a-mole. Sorry, guys. Gotta play whack-a-mole. Okay, cool. I'm ready Silence. now. Order in the court. Hi, Your Honor. Hey. We brought you a witness. Okay. He is the man who got attacked without any reason. Wait, I thought you were the one that got Hello, attacked. Your is it Honor. you? Let me tell you my side of the story. Okay, I Siri. I don't even know this guy. Okay, I okay. was just minding my own business. Got it. He just came out of nowhere and attacked me without any reason. Interesting. Thank you, Your Honor. That was all. That's it? That's, all, that's it? First okay. of all, I'm sorry for hitting him. Okay, so, my friend, you just admitted to hitting an innocent man that you didn't even know. Why would you do that? What's wrong with your head? I'm sorry for wasting your time, Your Honor. Wait, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? My life is a living hell, Your Honor. Oh, gosh, okay, I'm about to get I a sob no story. I have house and anyone I can call a friend. Ooh, okay, all right, this is starting to get deep. Please help me. Jail would be best place for me to live. Okay, yup. My reaction is the same as the two people in the background. I attacked that guy on purpose so that you could put me in jail. Okay, why would you I'm do sure that? You found my pipe as evidence on the crime scene. You did leave a pipe. Yup. Okay, do I want to give him what he wants? What? He wants to go to jail. Why would you not just go to therapy? No, I'm not sending you to prison. Oh no, Your Honor. Please find that pipe. Do I have to find the pipe? I think I have to find the pipe. Here's the pipe. I found it. Oh, that's very good. Thank you. I'm so lucky that you found that. I have so many gems. I gotta test out what this does. Okay. All right. All right. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't. I'm sorry. Wow. Hey. I heard this restaurant was really expensive. Hey, Shararin. Nice to see you again. Wow. Okay. What are we eating right now? It looks like macaroni soup. I can't believe you bring me here. I'm so excited. Yeah. Uh, I don't really want to date you. You know, I did mention that I have a wife and three children that I love a lot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna head home now and go back to work. But, um, yeah. 
Oh, I can buy different things. Oh, we can buy dynamite. Yes. Oh, I can get some decor as well. Look at that. Look at Okay, I thought I was buying a couch, but I bought a fish tank that I swear I already had. What else can I buy? A laptop. That's brand new. We get... I thought I had that too. Wait, don't I have these things? I, I already had most of these things. I feel like I'm spending my gems on nothing. The developers of this game really don't Hi, know what they're doing. Today we have the most popular boxer in court. Oh, okay. Who's that? Mice Tyson. Mice? Oh, guy. Mice Tyson? <laughs> Why does it still say Dwarf Fader? <laughs> what is happening? What is wrong with this game? Hi, Judge. I'm sure that you will like today's case. Yup, I think I, I will. Hit and runs. I'm sure you hate them as well. <laughs> Cut the crap and give me Cut the details. The and give me the details. <laughs> it's about an old lady getting hit by a car. Oh gosh, she not the elderly. She was on her way to the pharmacy to pick up her medicine. Uh oh, it keeps getting worse. Thank you. Good luck. I believe in you. Thank you, Shararen. Okay, let's see. It was Jason, 26 years old, and he hit an elderly woman with his car. Hey, you filthy hey, you drunk. Filthy drunk. <laughs> we expect you we in expect court. We expect you in court. And my signature today <laughs> is a block with a line through the middle. Can I add extra things? Can I like, yep, cool, cool. We're gonna make a three dimensional box. Yep, that's good. And we're gonna do that and that and that and that and that. That's my judge stamp. Hey, what's Judge, up, guys? I found this at the crime scene. So are these people that work for me and they're trying to bring me evidence? Because if they actually work for me, I feel like maybe I should fire them. They bring me the most random crap. Are you dumb? That's junk. Good what is this? Judge. What do you I got for me, Gary? Gary, I don't even know what the heck that is. That doesn't look like a knife. It doesn't look like a gun. Get oh, out of no. here. Get out of my sight. Level failed. Wait, what? That wasn't a gun or a knife. Hello, Judge. Is this as evidence? Nope. We are not looking for that. Judge. What is this? Okay, that this for scene. sure is a gun. Definitely. Finally, something 100% useful. a gun. Good afternoon, Judge. I hope this is helpful. So I guess that is a knife. Somehow it's hidden inside of there. I guess it's like a James Bond item. Of course. Well done. Hello. How you doing, sir? Welcome. Hi, I'm Jason's lawyer. I came to discuss. Both of the options that I have are either what is it you want to discuss or what do you want? Even though he just said that he came to discuss Jason's case. I feel like I might be a dumb judge. And I don't say what that lightly. Do you want? Did you gather any evidence from the crime scene? Uh, none of your business. That's none of your business. That's only my Come business. On, judge. We both want the same thing, right? Wait, we you want a banana fudge pudding sundae as well? Because I know I do. To earn some money. Oh, yeah, money too. To to buy the banana fudge pudding sundae. Yep, totally. Just tell me, what did you find? Your client will suffer when he sees what I found. Your client will suffer when he see what I found. <laughs> we'll see. See you on court. <laughs> we'll see. See you on court. All right, well, this is easily the best game I've ever played in my entire life. GTA 5 <laughs> doesn't have anything on this game. That old lady was just picking up medicine. Okay. We did not see her. Okay, all right. Compelling arguments. Hold up. Whack them all time. All right, good. This is how I focus every single day. Silence. Everybody shut up. Hi, Your Honor. We brought you the relative of the victim. She is the granddaughter of the victim. Okay. Your Honor, I miss my grandmother so much. Oh, okay. I sometimes... Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> it is not right to bring a child to the courtroom. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, overrule. You can bring children to the courthouse, I think. I will allow it. Keep Thank going. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. I sometimes see her in my dreams. Oh, Your no. Honor, this man deserves to be in jail. Honestly. Can we end this quickly? I'm so wasted right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare lie to me. You are under oath. Don't you dare lie to me. Don't you do it. You are under oath. Don't you do My it. My lord told me to say, I did not see her. Are you asking me if that's what you're supposed to say? Because I don't really it know. It was just an accident. Were you using alcohol? Were you using alcohol? No. What are you talking about? You did just say you were wasted, so... Feels like an, like a pretty good question to ask somebody. There is no evidence to prove that. Well, weirdly enough, just like every other case today, my team has found evidence. And what may that evidence be? A water bottle. Oh no, that is not mine. Hmm. That is my friend's bottle. Of course it is. Well, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna blow you up! Boom!
Today, guys, we're playing Just Draw, where I need to draw the missing item. Level one. All right, so we need to draw a fish for our very sad companion. We're not even gonna draw like a realistic looking fish. It kind of just looks like the crunchy, cheesy cheddar snack. All right, this person is missing an ear. So we're gonna go ahead and draw a giant ear on the side of your face. There you go. That's, I basically drew the letter B. All right, level three. Let's see. All right, Santa Claus needs a new boot. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw Santa Claus a brand new boot. Oh, look at that. Santa's so happy. All right next up. This person is dying. We need to draw a circle. He's saved. I am a savior. Level five. All right. This king needs a crown. All right. So we're going to draw the spikies on top just like that. And I think that's good. Yeah. This game is actually really fun. All right. Level six. From now on, you need to guess what to draw. All right. Uh, is this a volleyball player? Oh, no. This is a basketball player. <laughs> and I also get hints, but I don't think I need it for this one. So we're going to go ahead and draw a basketball. It's kind of like that and like that and like that and like that that, right? That's a basketball. Also, where are his eyeballs? This person is in a flaming building. So they need a firefighter pole. There you go. Or a rope, I guess. Uh, I, I think anything works. All right, level eight. We need to draw a, another glass for his glasses. All right, can I do like something weird? Like what if I just do like a, a squiggly circle? Does this work? Does it let me draw that? No. Okay, so it needs to be kind of a little bit correct. So we're gonna make a very non-perfect circle. <laughs> his eye is sneaking out. I don't know what he's doing with his nose, but he's very happy. Oh my gosh, what happened to you? You need you need, uh, you need need a paper bag over your entire body. We need we need that, and we're just gonna color it in like that. We need to cover you. That's a that's a shower curtain. Okay, maybe not. Um, do you just need clothes? Or maybe just pants, honestly. Let's just make him a pair of pants. Go like that. We'll color them in just a little bit so the game knows that the pants are colored, and that should work, right? He has a pair of pants. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so glad I colored them in. This car is missing a tire. All right. Well, I'm not a mechanic, but I'm pretty sure I can make you a tire. All right, we're gonna go like that, 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 that. This was good because there was a, uh, an example, so it would have been really bad if I didn't pass that one. This teapot is furiously pouring tea into nothingness, so we're just gonna make a little cup. All right, maybe maybe we'll make a big cup, giant cup with a little handle. All right, what? Are you, what? Um, well, maybe maybe a bigger cup. How big does this cup need to be? All right, how about that? Okay, we like that. All right, For whatever reason it wasn't working when I didn't put the lid on it. Let's see. This this plate is crying because it doesn't have food. It needs a different drink. Does it Does it just need like a steak on top of it? Or wait, maybe if I make a fork, right? Oh, I just wanted a fork, but there was no food to even eat. Uh, all right, so we have an X, an O. Um, wait, this one's kind of confusing. There's an X, there's an O, there's a square. And uh, is it like divide, like a divide symbol? No, it's not like times or anything like that. Is it just shapes? Does Do I need like a, like a rhombus? Or like a diamond? No. What? What? Uh, d another X? Wait, what actually is this one? I'm so confused right now. Wait, a triangle, right? Yeah, okay. All right, that one was a little bit confusing because it could have been so many different shapes, but all right, we got that one. Level 20, this person is missing a head? Dude, what? <laughs> That's the face I would make if I was missing a head. I would be very concerned. That's so weird. All right, oh, we actually just have to play tic-tac-toe. Um, well, this is easy. We'll put an X there and an X there. Huh? That's, oh, okay. An X there, an O there, and then an X there. But I... All right, fine. I'll do an O there. Is that what you wanted? That is what I wanted. Okay. All right. I should have known. This man is burnt. Wow. Oh my gosh. All right. Your your nipples and belly button are magnificently burnt. Wow. Okay. Uh, sunblock, right? We'll just cover you with sunblock. There you go. Nice blue sunblock for you. That I think should help. The sun's face looks like it is trying to murder this man with the power of the sun. All right. Maybe not that. Maybe we just need this to go around his entire body. Maybe we just need to like make a shirt for him. Shirt to cover from the sun, even though that's like the least thing that I like to do is like wear clothes when you're sunburned. Is that not it? Um, oh, maybe like like a beach umbrella like this. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Maybe that was just like a, a bad umbrella. Hold on, let me let me draw a better umbrella. There you are, good sir. Mm, interesting, okay, that's not what I wanted. Um, I'm gonna use a hint, a t-shirt. Why would you want a t-shirt and why would you not want a, a, a bigger shirt? What the heck, dude? All right, well, it doesn't even cover his arms. I don't like that one. Next up, level 23, draw an egg. Not KFC, draw an egg. You want KFC? You want a bucket of KFC? All right, fine. We'll, we'll do KFC. And then a couple more eggs, maybe? What does it need? Does it does it want eggs? I'm drawing eggs. Hmm. All right, what if I draw a bigger egg? I'm kind of confused right here. So it's sleeping, right? Does it... Hmm. If it's not going to poop out an egg, what is it going to do? Um, it doesn't want an egg. What about that? Maybe, maybe it just wants more hay bale? 
under it? I don't know what it wants. Sun. Oh, how am I supposed to know that? All right, we'll draw a very happy sun in the sky. <laughs> cock a doodle -dee. <laughs> Uh, why is this house so sad? It needs a door. It needs a door. I'm so smart. Okay, next up. Why are these people losing their heads all the time? What is, what is happening? I gotta draw their whole head? I gotta draw the, the sad face. He's crying. <laughs> that was the most well-drawn face ever. It looks like abstract art. Okay, so we get to make a painting. Um, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, here we go. This one's easy. This is modern art right here. Boom. Uh, uh, oh, maybe I need to give it uh, a frame. There we go. Just a frame around the edges. All right, that's good. What? What's wrong with this one? I'm, I'm very confused. Okay, what if I draw um, Squidward's face? We'll do Squidward's eyeballs, Squidward's nose, just like that. And then we'll do a happy face. Squidward. That is Squidward. I knew people would love Squidward's face. All right, this one is a tiny plant, and we're just gonna make it nice and big, just like that. Um, maybe a flower at the top. Nice flower. Beautiful. Oh, wait, maybe it needed water. <laughs> uh, this one, these two guys are arguing about what goes there. What could go there that they would be arguing about? Um, honestly, I would be pretty mad if somebody, if somebody literally just threw like an egg at the wall. There was just like a, a giant egg on the wall. Something like that. Oh, maybe not. Okay, wait, what if it's, what if it's a mirror? What if they're literally just like trying to do like a TikTok dance in the mirror? No, if I connect to the bottom, huh? Oh, 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 it's gotta be a television. Yeah, they're probably watching sports. A long flat screen TV. And then we'll just write sports just like that. Come on, wait a second. That, a white, a bigger flat screen TV? Are you kidding me? All right, what if I just put like a, like a person on there? We'll just put one stick figure. Hmm. Okay, wait, what? We're gonna, okay, we'll put two little legs for it. There's all different types of TVs, but like that's a television, huh? Wait, maybe, oh, it needs like the thing at the top, the antenna. How am I supposed to know they didn't have wireless? They had satellite. Okay, this person is taking a test. Um, What do they need to do? They need to connect the dots. So I think this is one to two to three to four. Is that it? Oh no. Um, eh, <laughs> um uh, <laughs> I honestly don't know here. If you guys know, leave a comment down below, but like, I'm pretty confused. I'm not gonna lie. So we have, is this number one? All right, what if I circle this and then go here and then circle that and then go there and then circle this and then go there and then circle that? I, I have no idea. I am. I am out of my zone here. Um, do I just make a box? Is that it? I just had to make a box. All right, next up. Uh, oh, <laughs> wait, why are they crying? Um, they're crying because they're... Wait, do I draw them? No, no, they're already there. What are they missing? Uh, it's missing a shirt, right? It's, it's okay, so we need to draw this for the shirt. Uh, hold on, wait, wait, we're gonna draw both sides. So we'll draw this and then this, and then we'll need to draw the outline of the shirt, just like that. The very skinny shirt, and then the, the neckline. Connect it. Dang it. I don't know. Wait, oh. Oh, they're sad. Oh, wait, why are they sad? Well, um, they're crying because, oh, they're missing their other sock. They're missing their other sock. That's what it is. Okay, there's gotta be two socks, right? Oh, Jack, you're so intelligent. That's what it was. Oh yeah, there's always two socks in a pair. Uh, these guys are about to fist bump, but they can't because this man does not have a watch. Okay, I, I was, yeah, a really bad looking watch. Let's try this. Go like that. I need to draw like something in the middle. Huh, this one's a little bit more difficult than you would think because it's like, it's hard to draw a watch. I can't really, I can't adjust how big this thing is. Eh, eh. <laughs> I'm trying here. Um, he just needs a watch. I don't, I don't know how else to draw the watch. All right, we'll go like that. Maybe, oh, I need to connect the sides. Let's try that. And then the circle in the middle and then this and then that. I am confused. Can I erase their watches so that nobody has a watch? No. Okay, all right. So if I just copy that, you're saying I will win. <laughs> Come on, please. Yeah! I thought I was kind of doing that, but apparently not. Uh, this guy needs a skeleton head. All right, so we're gonna do bottom part and then the top part. And then, yeah, they have like eye cavities like that. And then like this. That's it, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's some good stuff. All right, this person is cold because they need the power of the sun. Okay, maybe not. Um, maybe, maybe oh, a fire. A f you need a fire. That's what it is. All right, we'll draw that, we'll draw that, and we'll draw fire. Yes, that's, yeah, all right. I love when I figured it out. Oh, people in this game are getting injured. Okay, you need a new foot. Luckily for you, I can draw anything. Kind of reminds me of Scribble Knots. 
If you guys want to see me play Scribble Knots, leave a comment down below and I'll check that game out. That game was a lot of fun. Last time I played that was a long time ago. All right, password. What's the password? Um, oh, we need a keyboard type the password. There you go. We'll put some keys on it. It's four letters. <laughs> they got in. Okay, what's this one? Uh, we're going towards what? And we need to eject. Um, um, oh, we need to inject the button. Uh, uh click it. Click the button. Um, uh, maybe a square button. Uh, a uh, bigger button. Uh, bigger button, but it's colored in. Button. Okay, I'm maybe there? Okay. <laughs> His finger needed to touch it so that he could escape. This person is very angry because they don't have a steak. They don't have a steak. No, they don't have um a milkshake. We're looking for a milkshake with some whipped cream. No. Uh, what about a, a cheeseburger? We'll make that patty, and then we'll make the top of the bun just like that. Yes. There we go. Please don't eat that. That that does not look good. Um. All right. This person is trying to save a goal from this. There's a ball. Um. A ball. A soccer ball, which kind of looks weird. It should be somewhere else. Wait. Really? This side? Okay, I'll do it. And then like soccer balls. Uh oh, <laughs> I was trying to get the goal. <laughs> All right, this thing needs water, right? We learned that last time. So we'll draw the watering can, which looks like that with like a little handle at the top. And then the thing comes out the side to pour on the water. Uh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe. I'm thinking actually we just draw this and then we draw the the head and then we'll draw a, a sunflower What do I do? What do you need? What do you need little guy? Uh, maybe a leaf that and then the top part of the flower maybe like this Maybe I need to make like petals. Let's try that. I think that looks good. Yeah Okay, I didn't think that would work, but it did all right level 54 I didn't realize but we've been playing this game for quite some time Uh, we're gonna draw a spider spiders kind of look like suns when six-year-olds draw them <laughs> I am the six-year-old. Um, all right, I'll draw it like that and like some crazy legs like that and then like that and then like that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. They need eight legs. Eight legs, people. That's what it was. <laughs> I recently got some pretty good news. I am now God. And as God, I'll be deciding if people go to heaven to live in eternal happiness or if they burn in purgatory. Ooh, Harry Potter. Freeze slave elves. Well, that all sounds good and dandy, but how do we know that the elves didn't do bad things beforehand? Like, why were they captured in the first place? We also get to decide how bad or how good we think a decision is. So we're going to put that on like a four in the bad scale. Spies on people with his invisibility cloak. Harry, what are you doing? Awful, bad, negative 10. You're gonna burn alive. Dates with his best friend's sister. We'll put that at like a negative one. And now we get to decide Harry Potter's fate. So we could either send him to the left to burn in purgatory, or we can send him to live eternally happy. Into the inferno. Hello there, good sir. Caught many criminals. Are raccoons criminals? Can animals be tried with crime? We don't really know what the raccoons do did so we're gonna say this is like an eight on the heaven scale gets information by torturing criminals is this a form of torture i guess it is i have been tickled by my older brother until i peed my pants it looks like the raccoon kind of likes it like he's laughing and it looks like he's crying tears of joy so this also feels like he did a good thing got fired from his job for being a torturer and formed a gang that's such a big turn of events he decided to team up with the criminals so we're gonna put that as like a negative seven got arrested and formed a gang in prison too. So not only did he form one gang outside of prison, he formed another gang, which apparently is just a bunch of raccoons combined together. He formed a nursery of raccoons and then he did it again in prison. That's actually pretty impressive. All right, do you go into the inferno or into eternal happiness? Yeet. Is this Usher? Believes himself to be God's chosen one. There are no false gods. Ran for president because he dreamed of a prosperous country. Who actually is this? I don't know, but that is pretty admirable that he ran for president. So we're going to give him an eight for that. Once worked as a telemarketer to help his mother pay rent. What? That's the nicest thing anybody has ever done. You're, you're going to heaven, man. I mean, that first thing was questionable, but I think this is good. All right, you can join me. You can be my number two. Ooh, what's this? Oh, we've unlocked one of the gates of heaven. 
There's a gladiator on the right side, and there's Jerry from Tom and Jerry on the left side. I think we should probably save the mouse. You know, he hasn't done too many things wrong, and I feel like the gladiator probably has murdered lots of innocent people. Okay, how do I decide? Do I- Oh, gosh. Oh, I can flip them around. Okay, so it's either it's this way or this way. There's no in between. Look at their faces change. Happy? Sad. Happy? Sad. I like my decision. Oh, wow, we have to keep going. Okay, on the left side, it looks like Snooky from Jersey Shore, and on the right side, you have Bucktooth Tim. I kind of like how they were set up, so we're gonna throw them there. Oh my gosh, it's Naruto. And is this one of the characters from Mulan? I have to send Naruto to heaven. He's like the most wholesome character ever. And I also feel like his clan wouldn't like if I sent him to purgatory. Oh, it's Shrek! Brushes his teeth with insects. Yes, amazing. Doesn't leave his house because he thinks everyone is disgusted with him. Honestly, it's really sad. Like the whole story of Shrek. I know that it has a positive ending, but Shrek is just a depressed, lonely ogre. And he doesn't have any ogre friends. And it's really just like, it's not his fault that he lives all by himself and he looks ugly. We're gonna give him another 10. Farts his, his <laughs> farts his enemy's faces. That's not even proper English. Also, why is their tongue out? It's like they're inviting the fart. Why are they trying to taste Shrek's farts? They have to be the most rancid farts ever. All right, we're gonna give him another 10. At the end too, I don't even know like why I have the decision here because I obviously want to send Shrek to heaven, but I could still switch up and send him into the flames. Okay, we'll be nice, Shrek. Don't worry. We're going to the happy place. Oh, new key unlocked. Yes. Do I find the meaning of life after I unlock all of these? There's all these famous people that are walking up to heaven's gates right now. And I feel bad because if they're here, that means they're dead. All right, so this is Levi Ackerman from Attack on Titan, one of the best animes of all time. Let's see, he doesn't like the talls. He is a short king. All right, don't worry, tiny prince. We're gonna give you like a five just because you're like one of my favorite characters. Takes pleasure in torturing his enemies. Honestly, I don't blame him for that. Some of his enemies are really bad people. Happy when he sees his own reflection in the mirror. He's just so comfortable with himself that whenever he sees himself, he's not disgusted. That's good. That shows self-confidence. All right, don't worry, Levi. Even though you've done lots of bad things, we're gonna go ahead and send you to eternal happiness. No more titans for you. Send humans to heaven and others to purgatory. Who is this? Uh, okay, I, I have to send the humans to heaven. So are you even human? Is it Michael Jackson? Okay, you're going there. Oh, okay, apparently not. Apparently, oh, it's Thanos. Thanos is the odd man out. And I guess Pinocchio as well. I never thought I'd see Pinocchio and Thanos directly next to one another. Pinocchio actively has been telling lies for his entire life, so we're sending you there. Thanos got rid of half of the population, so skadoosh. You, I have no, who is this man? Is this Butch? Maybe. Okay, we're gonna send him there, and I guess Michael Jackson gets to live, even though he looks like a walking, talking skeleton with hair. It's Harley Quinn. Falls in love with his patient. That's awful. Like, that is so wrong on so many levels. Continues her toxic relationship. They are literally bathing in toxic slime. That is the most toxic a relationship could get. It's probably not healthy, so I'm gonna do you a favor and mark you as bad. Makes an aerial silk. I feel like this is pretty neutral. Like, it's not good or bad. So, like, the thing is, I can't put it in the middle. Like, I have to decide if something is good or bad. It's only black and white here, so I guess we're gonna go with this is a, this is a one good. All right, well, you have 15 towards fire and one towards the good place. We'll be nice. Sometimes you gotta be merciful as God. I'm not 100% certain, but I think the next person we are judging is the world famous artist Frida Kalor. Changes the perception of beauty by not plucking her eyebrows. Ooh, I mean, that is good. Yeah, she believes in herself. She's a princess. Let's give her a 10 for that. Had a forbidden relationship. Who made it forbidden? Like, I think maybe the general public decided that it wasn't a good relationship, so that's really not the worst thing in the world. If anything, she followed her heart, which you should always do, so we'll put a 7 for that on the good side. Secretly runs away to parties at night. Why did she have to be secret about it? She obviously didn't do a good job at sneaking because somebody found out. So we're gonna put like a negative four on that one. Hmm, do we send her left or right? Left, right. 
Left, right. If you guys leave a comment, I'll do this way. But if you leave a like on today's video, I'll do this way. And if you do both, I'm not entirely sure what to do. Do I send her into the cloud? Can I do that? Can I move her elsewhere? Is there like an in-between area? Can I put her back in the book? Okay, we'll send her to the right. Match souls and add bodies. Okay, we have a brand new task as God. So this one's pretty easy. I think I learned how to do this when I was three years old. We're gonna match Batman with Batman. Good, good. You can go back down to protecting God. Gotham and saving the world. All right, Peter Parker. Great power comes great responsibility. Never returns the book she borrowed. That is a heinous crime. You're a heathen for that. That's up there with not doing your own dishes. 10 bad. Farts whenever she is alone. I mean, there's really nothing bad about that. I've done that and I've also farted around other people. Just don't tell anybody. All right, we're gonna put that as like a three towards good. In Asian restaurants, she uses a fork instead of chopsticks? No, you, uh, no, you can't do that. That. You're off just for that last one. You're out of here. So far, I've only sent two people into the abyss. There's Harry Potter and the lady that doesn't return her books on time. Two absolute heathens. We still have a couple extra slots down here, so I'm going to keep that in mind. Next up is old man Rick. Burbs constantly. That does get kind of annoying. Bad example for his grandchild. Yeah, he does drink all the time. I feel like Morty kind of enjoys it, though. Okay, we'll put that as like a one bad. Turns himself into to a pickle to escape his family's problems. That's gotta be a 10. If you could do that, then you must be one of the smartest individuals alive. Turning yourself into a pickle? I mean, just for that alone, you're going to heaven. He's probably gonna take over heaven. My time as God is limited. My name is Duke Armstrong. I am the founder and the CEO of a startup. So it looks like you're lying. I'm gonna hit lie. Fine, I am unemployed. I can tell by the five o'clock shadow. I saw a young man stealing an old woman's bag. It looks like he's not lying. He is telling the truth, but did you do anything about it? I immediately intervened and caught the thief. That is a four on the lie detector test. Boys, we got him. That is a lie. Okay, maybe I waited for a while. I fought bravely with the thief. That is also looking like it is a big big fat lie. Yes, I was scared when the old woman knocked something over. I don't even know. I held the thief so he wouldn't run away until the police arrived. Oh, he did do that. It looks like that is the truth. So good on you. I gave the bag back to the old woman. I didn't touch anything. He definitely touched something. That is a lie. Fine. I got $20 from her wallet as a security fee. <laughs> no way. We also have the option to bomb, bomb, or freeze him alive. I like bomb. Bomb. Yeah. What do we do now? Well, he was already dead. Dead, so I don't know exactly what the bomb could have done. Did I kill him again? Imagine dying and then right before you're about to be sent into heaven or purgatory, you die again. Caused his wife to die because of radiation in his blood. That's also really not his fault. He got bit by the spider and then, you know, a lot of bad things happen after that. So he's still Spider-Man at the end of the day. If anybody's going to heaven, it's Spider-Man. All right, we'll put a seven. Likes upside down kisses. Who doesn't like upside down kisses? All right, don't worry. He just begins. Today, we're playing Perfect Lie, where we do horrible things and then get rewarded for lying about doing the horrible things. If you've ever lied, you have to leave a like on today's video. And if you don't, I'll know you're lying. All right, Sheldon, what are you up to today? Oh, mom's got some money. Look at that fat stack of cash. Oh, we stole it. Mom didn't even see. Mom, are you blind? Oh, <laughs> uh, hey, mom. Where did all my money go? Funny story about that, actually. Um, a thief stole it. Not me, just a thief. A thief stole it. You completely missed it because you were busy. On Facebook. I am the cops. You should call the cops, Mom. The thief is loose and it's totally not me. <laughs> Escape the cops. Wait a second. <laughs> Where did the thief go? Um, who knows? <laughs> he ran away. He ran away. <laughs> yep, totally. No way. I am going to search. You should probably get the entire FBI and SWAT unit on that too, because this is the best thief in the game. I feel like my lies are starting to get a little bit too intense. Oh, uh, we're going up in the world liar ranking leaderboard. <laughs> We are now the 696th best liar in the entire universe. Yes, the lie. An adult brain weighs about three pounds. Your brain is fully formed by age 15. I'm pretty sure your brain is fully formed by age 25, not 15, which is why my brain is not fully formed. I am only 24 years old, but I am still super smart. Guess the lie. Sunsets on Mars are blue. There's evidence about life on Mars. I think the sunsets aren't blue, uh, right? Wrong. Wait, there, wait, what? Hippopotamus milk is pink. Hippos are the largest mammals on earth. That is a lie. It is the blue whale. So hippopotamus milk is not indeed 
pink. Wait, what? It is pink? It's pink? Is hippo milk pink? It's not even true! I don't know who made this game, but they're lying to me! Wait, that's actually like a thousand IQ play. They're lying about lying. Is it even lying at that point? Why are you sleeping? What? What? What do you want? Was praying for no exams. I was doing all your project last night. I was I was I was praying for no exams. Was praying for no exams. Is praying not allowed? <laughs> what? I failed. All right, whatever. I guess I'm gonna have to go with the other option. Well, uh, I was up all night doing your dumb project about butterflies and bees. Was doing your project all night. Yeah, exactly. Wow, very good. Take some rest. <laughs> Wait a second. I never had a teacher do that. Did you guys ever have a teacher do that? I wish my teacher used to do that. What is this person doing? Why? Do, why is? What? What? They're like Cyclops from X Men. They have laser vision. Um, you already ate it. Are you dumb? You you already ate you your already lunch. Ate it. Dumb, dumb, no dummy. Way. <laughs> he didn't even question it. <laughs> How do I fail that? It seemed like he almost believed me there. All right, we're gonna just steal the lunch. Oh, it's cookies too. All right, first off, I'm doing you a favor. Why would your mother pack you cookies for lunch? Seriously. Go. Oh, we're apparently friends, by the way. Uh, I think your mom forgot to pack lunch. That's even worse. <laughs> I think your mom forgot to pack lunch. <laughs> yeah, maybe. She looks like busy. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to tell if everybody in this game is just not smart or if I am just better than everybody else when it comes to lying. I am now a skilled fabricator and I am moving up in the world of lying. Okay, we need to buy a gift for our girlfriend. Obviously, I have a girlfriend. Of course, I lied to get my girlfriend just like I lied to get everything else in life. Oh, <laughs> uh, dad, dad, where did your credit card go? Uh, it is not my driver's license because I am only 12 years old. It's my school ID, dad. My school ID. Just don't look at it too close. All right, see you later. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh, I gotta do my, my admin swipe. Awesome. Oh yeah, we're back in Among Us. Oh, what is that? Is that the gift I got for my girlfriend? That's pretty good. Snitch on mom. Who swiped my card? Oh, 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 oh um, a scammer did it or mom did it. I don't want to blame my own mother, but I also, I, I want to make my dad think it was a scammer. A scammer did it. Oh, a scammer did it. What the <laughs> payment shows on the uh, Why do I fail that? I feel like I could have kept on lying. Who swiped my card? Um, dad, I got bad news. It was mom. Mom did it. Mom did it. He <laughs> put it in her purse. How dare she? <laughs> How dare she, dude? Oh, this game is amazing. This game is the best game I have ever played. It's so good. The dialogue is top notch. Wait. Oh my gosh. We're older. We are now a 12 year old. We're almost a teenager. Oh, what's up? Talk to cute girl. Yeah. We're going to put, mm, put the moves on her. Let's go, boy. Let's go, Sheldon. Pick up line or do I dance? I think dancing's the best option here. There you go. Bust it down. But Oh, whoa. Oh, snap. Okay. <laughs> I feel like that's how 13 year olds nowadays go up and they flirt. They literally just start busting it down. They do the orange justice. That's cute. Where do you stay? Uh, inside the White House. Oh, no, in a mansion nearby. In a mansion I'm nearby. I'm super rich. Wow. Let's go to your mansion. All right, Bluff Master. The only problem with lying that I didn't quite realize when I was younger is that when you lie... I thought you had a mansion. You gotta actually be able to back up the lie. Or you just tell her, we'll meet another time, and then just, like, make up a story about how your parents just went bankrupt, and then this is your brand new house for the time being. Um, my house is named Mansion, or this is my spare house. This is my spare house, actually. This is my spare house. I got like 12 others. Oh, wow, that worked. Oh, dude, I, I got the girl. I got the girl. Sometimes lying pays off, ladies and gentlemen. That's why I have a doctorate in lying. Totally. Oh, yeah, we're the 620th best liar in the world. We passed by told ya. Yo. See you tonight. That's my ex? Wait, oh, this is my new Who girlfriend. That girl? Um, <laughs> my cousin. Our family just does that. Don't question me. My cousin. That's sweet. Family is always important. That's what I was thinking. You, you took the words right out of my mouth. What is this next one called? Booty duty? <laughs> what? Are you just staring her butt? <laughs> no, no. They remind me of watermelons. Uh, no, I'm just checking out the, the pants that I got my cousin. Just check. checking the pants I gifted her. Yeah. Aww. You are the best brother. Brother? Was that my sister or my cousin? 
I feel like I gotta have a quick talking to with the people that made this game. They need to get their facts straight. Be safe. We will be back in some time. Oh, my dad's getting old. Look at that. He's got gray hairs going. My mom's got gray streaks. Let's see. Uh, all right. We'll be back at some time. Okay. Uh, those are two normal see responses. Bye. I'm totally not gonna throw a party. Swipe up to kick. Yo. <laughs> what? Yo. I'm burning down the house. <gasps> Uh, what happened here? I don't know, Mom, but we should put out the fire. The fire, Mom. Mom, you left the heater on overnight. There was a gas leak. Uh, ah, Mom, there's a fire. You left your heater on overnight. Do something. OMG, I must have forgotten. Somebody put out the fire. Fix fire. Yeah, it's about time. Yeah, I'm gonna fix the darn fire because my mom left on the heater. I'm starting to convince myself of my own lies. Is it done? Oh, I did it. Cool. Yeah, I saved the day again. I totally didn't start that myself. I'm bored. Can you meet me? Um, well, I don't know what time it is. It says, no, it's too late. Wait, there's just a hand on the screen. Why on the left side is there a hand on the screen? Uh, no, it's too late. I got school tomorrow. You always do this. Let's break up. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Yo, I failed the challenge. <laughs> what if I wanted to break up? Is that not an option? Why can't I I'm be an bored. independent Can man? You meet me? Uh, yeah, of course. Obviously, I got you. Okay, see you soon. Oh, uh, is it, oh, wait, oh, hey, mom. What are you doing? Why was I about to jump out the window? Why, why couldn't have I just gone out the front door? Uh, I just want some fresh air, mom. It's really I wanted some stuffed fresh up air. in here. Yeah, it's kind of drafty. Okay, let's spend time together in the garden. Mmm, 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 mom, you really messed that up. You really did not have to do that, mom. What are you doing? Uh, I think I heard something outside, so I'm gonna go attack them. I think I heard someone outside. Oh, no, please do it properly. Don't worry, mom. I got this. <laughs> Run to girlfriend. Go. <laughs> Yo, dad. What are you calling? Um, dad, I am, uh, who, what am I doing? Uh, I just, I've it just left my mind. I'm actually going to meet grandma. Yep. Going to meet grandma. She's going to bake cookies. Nice. Come on, drive here. I really had to get in the car, didn't I? Where are you calling? And I'm going for a little run. Mind your beeswax. Thanks a lot. Going for a run. Get out of here, dad. Go ahead. Business is so important. I love how whenever I actually lie, my parents are very supportive of me. Like, they think I am the best child on planet Earth. Meanwhile, I've lied to them pretty much every single time. Hey, uh, we're gonna sneak out to go grab some ice cream. Don't mind us. Oh, hey, mom. <laughs> Who's this girl? Oh, I haven't introduced you. This is my <laughs> thief. She's a thief. She is a thief. She's a thief. Get her, mom. What? Get her. Get her. That's right. <laughs> Okay, that's probably not the correct way to go about this. Who is this girl? Oh, uh, don't worry, Mom. This is my school project partner. School totally. project partner. Yep, yep. Great. Work hard, kids. Oh, we will work hard on our school project. Don't worry about it, Mom. I will totally show you later. Will we ever get married? Oh, no. Um, hmm. I am already married or sure, but I'm broke. Yeah, why not? Sure, but I'm broke. Sure. But I'm broke. But my dad's what? not. Then I don't want to marry you. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I feel like I dodged a bullet there. If somebody doesn't want you for you and they want you for your money, you should probably get out of that relationship. I've been getting quite a lot of money because every single time that I lie, I am getting money. So we can actually get a couple upgrades here. We can upgrade our tree house. We can upgrade our play area to now have one of those horsies. We can upgrade our decor. I think we just got a nice ladder system. Let's upgrade our home again. We got a little workbench. We actually have a lot more money than I thought. Like we have thousands of dollars just from lying. I have made lying my full-time career. All right, we have a trampoline now. Look at that. Sheldon is so excited. There's no reason for me not to stop lying because I am getting money. Everything is working out. The only problem is my nose is getting really big, which I don't know. Maybe some people like that. Maybe that's just some people's thing. But upgrade this, upgrade my house again. Oh, that's amazing. Any six-year-old ever would love this. Too bad I'm 18 years old. Maybe my kids could actually play around on this. What's going on here? 10.45 in the morning. College admission at 11 o'clock. All right, well, we have 15 minutes. We're fine. Hey, oh, <laughs> what was that move? Why do you want to join this university? Well, professor, great question, by the way. Your glasses are looking fantastical. Um, <laughs> because no one else is taking me. Uh, for your amazing professors, of course, obviously. I love for your, your amazing professors. professors. The professors here are top notch. I've done my research. Do you play any sport? Well, I am an Olympic swimmer. I am an Olympic swimmer. <laughs> they don't wow. even ask for... 
They don't ask for anything. They don't even ask for like a trophy. They don't ask for anybody to actually back up that information. They just believe me. Guys, I got a brand new job. I'm a police officer. And not just any police officer. I'm a car police officer. My job is to pull people over and figure out if they broke the law. If they did, they're going to prison. Hi, officer. Have a nice day. All right, let's click on your face here. Let's see. Uh, do we like what you're doing? Let's see. Uh, do you have the correct numbers? No, you do not. You're going to get arrested. This isn't your car. That's right, lady. Nobody is above the law but me. I'm about to make fat stacks of cash as a police officer. Well, hello. What a good day, sir. I am a woman. Let's check out your face. All right, your face is a match. What about this? EL276. That looks like a match as well. And is your name Meadow? Is there a way to check? Oh, let's look in your trunk here. Let's see. What is that? Is that a frying pan? You have a fern and you have some books. It looks like you probably are a college campus student. All right, we'll send you on your way. Hello, officer. Oh, wait, why do you have cash in there? Just a little present. What do you mean? I'll take the cash. All right, yeah, you could, you could be on your way. Looks good to me. Thank you for the cash. Uh, yeah, that, that checks out. Wait, why did you give me cash? What's, uh, in your trunk? There, there was nothing wrong. She paid me. Officer, I have a friend tomorrow. Please let him through. Hmm. I understand why she gave me the cash. I have a big decision to make today. Am I a corrupt police officer? <laughs> My friend said she told you, officer. Okay, I have a couple different questions. First off, why do you have a mask on? Second off, why does your driver's license also have the mask on? What is happening, Walter? If that's even your name? Okay, ID. Let's see. MJ966. Yeah, that checks out. So, Walter, w what did you do that's so bad? What's inside of your trunk? Nothing. All right, you can go through. <laughs> Bye, fool. I thought for sure something bad was gonna happen. Oh my gosh, wait, what? Oh, he exploded the vehicle. What just happened? Where was the bomb? That one's on me, guys. I must have missed that. I'm gonna blame Charles. Cunning criminals have learned to hide bombs in their bodies. Now we need to take a closer look. All right, well, let's, uh, in the meantime, to make me feel better, let's buy a brand new wallpaper for the office. Yep, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. And let's get a brand new carpet, too. Spending money always makes me feel better. All right, now we have to step it up a notch. What a good day, sir. Why am I a sir? Do you not see I am a woman? All right, your name is Kaylee. I think that matches up. I can't really check your name. Uh, your license is wrong. Let's go search the vehicle. Let's see, let's move it around. Oh, you have a gun? What are you doing with a gun, lady? We have to arrest you. There's no other solution. She was sitting on the gun while she was driving. Hello, yeah. officer. Why, hello there, Titus, if that's your name. Let's see. Your license matches up. Let's check the front of your vehicle. WB753 also checks out. All right, Titus, I'm gonna need you to open the bag. Let's see what you got back here. Um, fire extinguisher. That's uh, very conscientious of you to put out fires. A box. Hmm, this is a little bit awkward, Titus. You did a very poor job of hiding a gun. Why did you hide a machine gun under a box? You didn't think I was going to search? All right, let's see. You also have, what is that? Death? You have a pouch of death on you? What is this? A knife? Titus, did your mother not raise you to be a better man? I'm sorry, Titus. You got to go to prison. That's the only way they pay me. I talked to the higher ups and they decided to give me a brand new job. I get to squish vehicles. Oh, oh, sweet. All right, let's squish the vehicle. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. I'm liking this part of my job. They're giving me more responsibilities. What does this do? Oh, we get to crunch it. That was oddly satisfying and I liked it. I have just enough money to get a brand new floor. Yeah. Oh, we're getting a car next. <laughs> Let's go. What's up? <laughs> Officer, please help my wife. Oh, gosh. What? She's dying? Okay. Okay. I'll save her. Don't worry. I got this. Yes. Okay. All right. This is what my training was for. Of course. I saved her. That was a weird way to celebrate somebody saving your life. You started hitting the orange justice. One more day and I can get my car. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, let's see. Hopefully nothing goes wrong today. Hey, lady. Hello, officer. Well, your face looks right. Thank you very much, Kaylee. Let's check the front of your vehicle. FY638. That also looks good. And last but not least, sorry, I gotta do this. I gotta check out the trunk. Make sure there's nothing back there. All right. And hopefully you don't have explosives inside of your body. We're gonna find out very shortly here. Okay. Oh, oh wait. Two vehicles in the same day. What a good day, sir. Well, this guy looks a little bit suspicious. Darcy, also, I'm very confused why you have your eye patch on in your driver's license. Like, normally you get your driver's license and then you have it for like 10 years before you get another one. Maybe he just got it today. Let's check out the front of the car. The license plate is I. I E948. It also matches up. And then in the back of your car, please tell me I'm not gonna find anything weird. 
That's a bomb. That Are you kidding? I have to defuse a bomb? Cut the thread in color order. Okay, we gotta cut the green wire, not the red wire. Go purple wire next, and then yellow wire. Did, did I do it? Okay, I guess I'm, I'm gonna arrest you now. Don't let it happen again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this job is stressful. Yes, we have $800! This is exactly why I became a traffic cop. I was in it for the money from the beginning. Is that the Batmobile? What? <laughs> Maybe the time isn't right. It's Bruce Wayne. Let's go check it out. Okay, we'll check out the front. The front is FE365. That checks out. <coughs> okay, all right, we're gonna... <coughs> we're gonna check... <coughs> we're gonna check the trunk. All right, what's back here? You don't have a trunk. All right, I think... I think you're good. Um, never mind. You're not good. You're wearing a mask. We're gonna have to search your vehicle. Well, uh, what what is on you, sir? You got some buddy? Oh, uh, you got ninja stars? Oh, you got a gun? Batman doesn't use guns. What else you got? A grenade? What kind of Walmart Batman are you? You're going to prison. <coughs> Oh, the Batman voice is hard. <laughs> the Batman voice is gonna kill me. Hi, right, officer. Have a nice day. Your name is Peacemaker? That's actually a really cool name. Let's check out the front. BX324. All right. The last guy that looked like you and had a car just like this had a machine gun in the back of his car. Oh my gosh, why? Yo, what? Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Boom! I was not expecting there to be another man in the back. Oh, it's you. You know what to do. Do I know what to do, though? Because I feel like I should not let you go. Your license and your registration all matches up, but in the trunk you have a body? Cut the dotted line to free the hostages. Okay, okay, this is what I've trained for. Don't worry, sir. Don't worry, sir. I'm a police officer. I'm a car police officer. I'm gonna arrest this man now. I am good at this job. We can afford a brand new widescreen TV. Yes. And a sofa to watch it. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, come on, next. What you got for me, lady? Thank you for the last time. You're a good person. Of course, of course. Um, $100. I don't think that's gonna cut it. Uh, yep. You're going to jail. Nice try. Nothing gets past me. Oh, nice car. Don't touch my car. I'm warning you. All right. All right, well, somebody else was also named Peacemaker, so I don't know. Are there two people in the world that have the name Peacemaker? Especially in the same city? Like, I don't know about you guys, but that seems awfully suspicious. And your license doesn't match up. What am I cutting? Oh, wait, what? what? What's it? Wait, huh? What's inside of your car seat? Wait, what? Huh? What's going on? Wait, is there something inside of here? Do people actually do this? There's money. Wait, do I get to keep the money? Um, I'm gonna arrest you, and I'm keeping the money. It pays to be a car traffic cop. Whoa. Oh, we're doing the speedometer. All right. Let's see. Uh, do I pull you over? Oh, oh, I gotta, like, look at them. Oh, you're going fast. You're going fast. Blinks! That's right. Get off the road. All right, who's up next? Hello there. <laughs> Let's dance, know. officer. Hey, what's going on in the back? Hold up. All right, that all checks out. What's, uh, is that legal? Can, can we do that? What What's going on here? Oh, wow. There's a, okay. All right, I gotta do 411. What's inside of this? Oh, it's just a teddy bear? Who puts a teddy bear in a briefcase? I feel like I should cut open the teddy bear, but that's not an option, so I'm gonna leave you guys. You you guys, have your dance party and be safe about it. Finally, I can afford a bed. I bought a TV, a sofa, wallpaper, floors, and a car before I owned a bed. You can tell I have my priority screen. Oh, oh, help. Okay, okay, I got this. Um, This is why I have my fire extinguisher. Why is she moonwalking over there? There's no time. No time to question. Okay, we're gonna put out the, the top first. Always put out the engine as well if you're ever in this situation because the engine could explode at any moment. We did it. Don't worry, lady. You probably should not get in that car and you should get a new car and maybe throw away the old car. Hello, how you doing? All right, that looks good. That looks good. Please no bomb. Please no bomb. Please no bomb. Oh, cool. What's inside of that? Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right. Hey, sweet. You're like the first person in a couple days that didn't commit a crime. Sorry, honey. I don't want it either. What does that mean? What don't you want? No, E.T. No. sends his regards, officer. Like, the alien? The extraterrestrial sends his regards? Okay. What's it? Why? 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 This might be the worst criminal in the history of all criminals. I think he actually might be worse than the Star Wars Stormtroopers. This is embarrassing. Like, you deserve to be arrested. It took one shot. One singular shot. I got him. Thank you for your help. I can give you some clues. The ET gang did what they did yesterday. Okay. Oh, that's what he meant by, by ET. Okay. Uh, thank you for the clues. I'm actually going to release you for that. <laughs> Dispatch said, are you serious? Let's dance, officer. All right. Yeah, sure. That sounds good. Yep, you check out. You check out. What are all these gentlemen doing in the back? Uh, hey, guys. Is this supposed to happen? Are you guys a part of some weird ET gang? Because they tried to kill me yesterday. All right, I think you guys actually check out, weirdly enough. So, yeah, um, have fun. See you guys later. 
All right. <laughs> An ET gang attack City Hall. No one wearing a mask was allowed in. Oh, okay. All right. No more masks. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, officer. Yeah. Have a nice day. All right, Washington, you check out. So far, so good. What's in the trunk there, Mr. Washington? A couple boxes. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. You can go. Have yourself a grand diddly dootin' day. Mm. <laughs> Something's a little fishy about this, but I just can't put my finger on it. Hmm. Hmm. All right, you're good. Go on through. Yep, you're fine. Yeah, I was looking for a guy that was clearly a woman. All right, class, this is an easy one. Which animal is pink? What she got, Dora the Explorer? A cow? Dora, a cow? What? No, no, everybody else is laughing at you. All right, Amanda, what you got? A flamingo, yes, Amanda. Thank you for making sure that I didn't feel dumb for you guys being dumb. What does LOL stand for? Uh, Nigel, in the back, live old lives. Yeah, that actually, no, Nigel, no, that's not what it stands for. Oh my gosh, this is why you have no friends, Nigel. All right, Stefano, way in the back. Laugh out loud. Yes, Stefano. That's why you're my favorite student. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I am your substitute teacher, and I will be teaching you and also my entire class how to not be dumb. And I'm also gonna make fat stacks of cash for it. I'm not in it for the money, okay? I'm in it to make sure that the children of this nation are smarter than they were yesterday. What you got for me? All right, they have to match the picture with what they put. All right, that's a cat. Yup, you did it. You did so good. So proud of you. That is not a hippo. You're that's mean to the dog. All right. And there's also an elephant. Good. Good. All right. Y you did. Okay. We'll give you a, a solid B for that. Hopefully your parents ground you. Ooh, all right. I got to keep my cool here. No, Nigel, you are actually dumb. That is a fish though. And that's the Eiffel Tower. You knew what the Eiffel Tower looked like, but you, you didn't know what a lion looked like. Get out of here. Get out of my face. I got an apple to eat or something. Ooh, all right. It's the end of the day. We got our salary. We're doing pretty good. All right. We are now ready for class. Monitor the halls. What you guys doing on here? What's going on down in that corner? What happened, Nigel? Had a food fight, spat on the floor, and participated in class. What do I do? Do I send him to the principal? Do I let him go? Or do I spray him with a fire hydrant? <laughs> That's what you get for having a food fight. I'm gonna get fired by the end of the day. Hello there. Draw a pear. Oh, no, 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 no. What is this? What is that? No. What is that? F. Yeah, you get an F. You drew a banana. I gotta take off my glasses for this. I gotta make sure I'm seeing this right. All right, draw a banana. Well, little Sally Sue, you did great. You see, that's a banana. Go show whoever that was. I didn't even look at them. Go show them how to draw a banana. Draw a pineapple. You see, somebody clearly watches SpongeBob. You get a beautiful check mark for that. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, Amanda. Whew, all right, end of the day. Another $61 in my bank account. All right, class, everybody's looking awfully beautiful today. I am going to make sure your brains are overflowing with knowledge before the day is over. What type of animal is the largest primate in the world? Um, do I even know this? I'm, of course, I'm the teacher. A gorilla. <laughs> of course. Yes, it is. <laughs> a thermometer is a device used to measure what? Uh, let's go with Jimothy. What's up, Jimothy? A wave. Uh, no. Jimothy. Jimothy, a wave? A wave, Jimothy? Come on. All right, Nigel. Come on. Okay, temperature. Thank you. Somebody had to knock some sense into the classroom. Oh, these kids are not the sharpest tools in the tool shed. All right, let's see how you did, little boy. Uh, oh, you L for owl. Honestly, I, I could see that. The English language is sometimes very weird and annoying. All right, let's see. You spell duck with a T, like duct tape. Also, a big fat zero. And you spelled B with an actual B. Nice work. All right, you got a 33% on that. That'll make your parents nice and proud. <laughs> Even though my children are not learning anything, I am still making money. Ooh, we can now teach TV and film my specialty. All right, guys, TV and film today. Not super difficult. You guys got this. All right, I gave them three different things that they had to identify. So this is horror. You spelled horror right. You spelled Western right. It's actually really good. You spelled comedy right too. Nice. You get 100% door the Explorer. Let's see. What about you? Uh, <laughs> Skibby for sci-fi. No. Uh, Fantasy for fantasy. Also no. And uh, reporter. R-E-P-O-R. 
R T E R. That's actually not super bad. You did it. You got 33%. All right, class, I have some quick questions about TV and film. Finish the name of this TV show The Walking. What you got? Plague? Plague isn't a bad guess, but it's actually wrong and you're dumb. All right, what you got for me, Nigel? Alive. The Walking Alive. Really close. Just like, just really close. All you had to do was just give a different word for, for alive, like the, the anti version of alive. But no, that is also wrong. All right, you look like you probably watch it. Let's see. Walking Dead. Yes! Somebody here knows it. It's actually a really good show. All right, who is Shrek's sidekick? Everybody in the class should know this. If anybody gets this wrong, I am going to throw them out of the window. All right, what about you? Frodo. No, no, it's not. It's not Frodo. Um, please tell me somebody knows this. Donkey. Yes. Yes. I'm really scared to hear what everybody else's answers were because <laughs> I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated. What's up, Sally Sue? Okay, I gave them a bunch of pictures and they had to identify what sport it was. The top one, she put golf. The correct answer, not even close. It was bow and arrow. All right, next up, weightlifting. Actually, nice. You did that one and you said karate for, <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Is this, this isn't discus, right? Um, there's a shovel. <laughs> I don't think it's karate. <laughs> Honestly, that last one, I think I would have got wrong too. I love how for the sports class, we have desks that are set up inside the middle of a basketball court. It doesn't make any sense, but I love it. How many players are on a soccer team? I, oh gosh, uh, you probably know it. Let's go and see 14. Oh no, I don't think so. I think there's 11, right? Uh, Dora the Explorer, what you got for me? Nine, also no. Okay, uh, what about you? What do you know? Five? No, this isn't hockey. Actually, they don't even know what sports are. I'm surprised they even know what soccer is. Okay, 11, yes. That's what I'm talking about. You know your stuff. All right, class, draw a character from a mystery film. That actually looks good. You drew Sherlock Holmes. Very good work. Have you guys ever gotten caught cheating in school? If you have, I want to know about it in the comments down below. I almost did one time. It was my freshman year of high school, and I maybe copied homework off of another kid, and then everybody in the class copied the same homework. So when, when we submitted our homework, everybody had the same exact answers. So the teacher called on everybody, and he was just like, hey, everybody has the same exact answers what's going on uh luckily he just kind of forgot about it but like yeah that was the only time i got caught cheating all right class i know everything about geography all uh, right you spelled tornado like a turd that's a big x for you madagascar um no madagascar is spelled with a g nice try amanda uh and then the next one is autumn a-u-t-u-m-n yeah i actually think you did that one right all right uh let's see signpost Yep, you spelled that right. Uh, coagulum. No, wrong again. And for flooding, you put fluging. I honestly, I like that better. I like fluging better, so I'm gonna give that a little check mark. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> Which is the largest continent on Earth? Somebody hit me with it. What you got? Right in the front. Antarctica. Uh, no. Is it? I don't know. Uh, which is the largest continent on Earth? Let's see. Asia. Yeah, it's Asia, right? It's gotta be Asia. Okay, good. Yeah, it's, okay. I know that Asia is pretty big. <laughs> uh, which is the longest river on earth? Also, do I know this? I do. Of course I know this. I am the substitute teacher. The, the Thames. No, it's not. It's not Thames. Uh, what do you got for me? Let's see. The Amazonian river. I don't think so. Okay. All right. That actually almost stumped me, but I am the teacher and I know what's best. I am. I know everything because I am a teacher and teachers know everything. Uh, the Nile river. Yes. Good job, Nigel. He probably knew it because his name was so close to it. Draw the country of France. Uh, what does France look like? Uh, yeah. Yup, that's France. Okay, all right, that's good, that's good. All right, good, yup, I'm so smart. Draw the continent of Africa. That actually looks good. Yeah, Africa looks like the giant elephant with the ear. Good work, Nigel. A plus for you. Next, uh, what's up, Jimothy? Draw the country of France. Yep, also good. Cool. I, I wonder why we don't just give everybody the same test. <laughs> like, we have a bunch of different tests floating around. Maybe it's so that they can't cheat. That's why I'm doing it. Yep, never mind. I'm the teacher. I know everything. All right, class. How's everybody doing today? Uh, Mount Vesuvius overlooks which present-day Italian city? Sally Sue. Venice. Wrong. Okay, okay. All right, good, good, good. Look, I love that they give me applause when I'm right. When I tell them that they're dumb, they agree with me. 
All right, that means that Nigel knows this. Mount Vesuvius, no. No, it's not. I think it's Pompeii, right? I want to say it's Pompeii. Let's see. Uh, Naples. Wait, it might actually be Naples. Ah, yeah, it's Naples. Yeah, okay. All right, good, good, good. I got really nervous there. I feel like I am also learning a lot. The best teachers learn from their students. That's how it works. How old is the USA as of 2020? Uh, well, we were born in 1776. So, how many years is that? <laughs> um... 2020 minus 1776. Okay, I got it. Let's see which is the right answer. 700 years old? No. What you got for me? 2,400 years old. Huh. No. <laughs> no. All right, way in the back there. Amanda, 224 years. Yes, that's the one. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm kind of curious if I still get paid even if I do my job really wrong. So I'm just gonna like mismark everything. Uh, guitar? No. Cardigan? Uh, actually, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll put a check and then trumpet? No. Bad marking. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're going to try to get every single one wrong. And I want to see if I still get paid, even if I'm the world's worst teacher. I mean, these might be the world's worst students. So it's only fair that I see if I get paid for being the world's worst teacher. Clarinet? Uh, yep. Totally. Banjo? Yep. Amazing. Hoodie? Nope. It's a cardigan. Uh, next up, what you got? A guitar? Nope, it's a banjo. Uh, that is not a trumpet. That is a guitar. And, yep, that's a cardigan. You got it right. Nice. All right, I just failed my entire class. <laughs> Zero exams were marked correctly. I still got $60. You do get paid even if you're a bad teacher. Which fabric is made by worms? Um, oh, I think I know this. It's not wool. Sheep make wool. Sheep. S-H-E-E-P. All right, Dora, let's see what you got. Silk, yes! Dora is by far the smartest student in dumb school. What are astronauts visors coated in a thin layer of? Uh, way in the back there, what you got? Gold? No. I think it's, no. Oh, it is gold, actually! <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> Oh boy, today is the day I meet the new boss, Brad. Brad, is everything okay, Brad? Um, I'm gonna help Brad. Brad, is everything all right? My wife left me. Now what will I do? Oh, Brad. Oh, this is really awkward for me. She didn't deserve you anyway, or I can say I will find you a new girl. As the best personal assistant, I will find you I a will new find girl. You a new girl. I got this. Brad does not look impressed. Oh, Brad is dancing. He's dancing. I'm gonna find Brad a brand new girl. Brad's gonna love me. Don't worry, Brad, I got this. 30 days left to fall in love. Oh, I have to fall in love with Brad. Oh, is that Brad? Brad. My backyard is a mess. Clean it ASAP. Brad, I am starting to understand why your wife left you. Collect the items. All right, don't worry, Brad, I can do this. All right, we're gonna go collect the dog toy. Let's see, we'll collect the dog bowl. There's a belt right there and also uh, a rope in the corner. All right, Sparky, your yard is all cleaned up. All right, Brad, I'm back. I still haven't really found you a new woman, so sorry about that, but you know, love takes time. Oh, look at that. We're back to hacking into the mainframe. Who could this be? Is it Brad? Hey, babe, could you please get me some food? Um, excuse me? Are me and Brad in love? I didn't expect this to happen so soon. Okay, we're gonna do a piece of cheese, piece of tomato, piece of lettuce in the middle, uh, two onions on top, just like that, and a piece of cheddar cheese on top. Oh, one more tomato, okay. There we go. Hey, Brad, here's your sandwich. It's, that was amazing. You ate that in one single bite? What kind of superpowers do you have, Brad? I'm dating a superhero. I'm starting to like my job as a personal assistant. I get paid good money. Ooh, personality test. Would you rather be born without knees or elbows? I want you guys to comment down below what you would do. <laughs> I'd rather be born without elbows. I don't think you can walk without knees. Have you ever cheated on an exam? Never. Would you rather be a giant mouse or a tiny elephant? I would rather be a giant mouse and take over New York City. Another day on the job. Oh, today I'm eating popcorn. Very nice. Book me a ticket to Amsterdam. Okay, Brad, not a problem. How do you book a plane ticket? Okay, book a ticket, easy. Okay, we're gonna swipe that. All right, Brad, I'm swiping the company credit card. Uh, wait, what? A okay, do I just put in this name? Okay, should we send him to Amsterdam or Antarctica? Hmm. <laughs> I think we're gonna mix it up a little bit. <laughs> Book the flight. Good luck, Brad. He's at the airport. Oh, no. <laughs> that is what any normal human would do if they ended up in Antarctica. No! <laughs> 
Ah! Hey, Brad, about that whole Antarctica thing. I'm real sorry about that. I don't know how to spell. I think you bought it. Where can I take you on a date? Oh, Brad! Brad, you're... Okay, um, take me to a coffee shop. A I do like me shop. some coffee. Oh, wow. Wow, okay. Brad is smitten. He <gasps> loves me. I feel like I have 25 days left to make him fall in love with me. However, I think I already did it. I'm gonna figure out how to make him give me the entire company. All right, day number 44. Hello? Is it my mom? No. Hire a salesperson for the office. Okay, I can do that. That's easy, easy. Hey, lady, how's it going? Hi, oh, what's wrong I'm with here you? for the position of salesperson. Okay. All right. The awkward pause at the start was really weird. I feel like I'm speaking to an AI robot. Can you sell a comb to a bald guy? Because if not, we don't want you. I can sell anything to anyone. Perfect. Okay, can you sell me to Brad? Because I need somebody to make Brad fall in love with me. Sell me. I'll ask the bald guy if he has a cat, dog, or a wife. Now that's the type of ambition we need at this company. Wow, you are amazing. Come on in for the job. Come on in. Come on down. Right now. Today. You are hired. You could take Brad's position. Brad is now my stay-at-home husband. Hey, Brad. Oh, is it Brad's birthday? Um, sorry. I didn't really. Oh, hey, I got you a cake. There you go, Brad. You're turning one years old. Tap to cut the cake. Okay. Even slices for everybody. This will be my slice. I want that big slice right there. Okay. Slice. I did it. I cut the cake. I'm the best personal assistant the world has ever seen. Why does it, everybody look so sad that it's Brad's birthday? I'm still not entirely sure what our company does. What do we sell? Oh, right hand woman. Oh my God. Yes. He got me flowers. Today is Valentine's day. So I'm pretty excited about that. Been promoted to right hand woman. Can you customize my new car? Of course I can, Brad. Don't worry about it. I am now right hand woman and I will eventually take over the company and I will get rid of Brad forever. But until that day comes, I'm going to customize a car, I guess. Oh, there you go, Brad. There you go. We're going to paint the front blue, your favorite color. We'll paint the sides green. If he doesn't like it, I will blame it on the dog. All right, good. We'll put some yellow in the back and obviously some pink right there. That, my friends, is the best looking car I've ever seen. <laughs> Done. You like that, Brad? You like that. Look, he loves it. He loves it. He, you guys didn't know this, but he's actually a big fan of rainbows. I don't know how he's doing that with that car. He is a professional car man. Another day in the office. One more day closer until I make Brad fall in love. Do you feel excited while going to work? I feel excited by the prospect of getting Brad to fall in love with me, and then eventually I will take over the company. So yes. Is your boss very rude? Well, technically this is our old boss, Chad, who I got fired because he sucked. But I mean, I guess he was all right. Not the worst guy ever. Are your skills in high demand? Yes, they are. I'm still not entirely sure what my skills are yet. If I had to write them down, I'd say I am... I have... I don't know. I honestly don't know what my skills are. All right, back to hacking into the mainframe, which I've been trying to do for 47 days. Let's check out my good old email. Let's see what's happening on the email. All right, let's see. Oh, we have a video call. Hey, darling. Hey. How is work going? What's up, mom? It's, uh, it's not great, actually. Yep, Brad is hitting on okay. me. Can you come over tomorrow? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, mom, I can do that. See you soon. All right, cool. Got a date with my mom, and I got she paid me money. My mom gave me $100 just for being her daughter. What do you want, Brad? I was talking to my mom. Shave my mustache. Are you kidding me, Brad? What is growing on your face, Brad? Also, what happened to your eyeballs? Did somebody hit you with nuclear radiation? All right, I'm gonna do you a favor here. Oh, I can't, I was gonna shave his eyebrows, but it won't let me. All right, don't worry. We're gonna, we're gonna take out. Okay, all right. <laughs> that looks good to me. Can I stop here? This is perfect. <laughs> I like it. I really like the new look, Brad. <laughs> we did it. Oh, no. Oh, interviewer. Oh, apply for the job. Oh, okay. I'm applying for a new job. Hi. Tell me a little about yourself. Well, first off, might I say, you look like you've been doing your push-ups, lady, because you look like you could beat the crap out of me. Please take me. I am desperate. <laughs> anyway... What are your plans for the future? Oh, the future. Well, actually, I'll be eating lunch in the future. Oh, so you're just stupid. We will get back to you soon. Okay, cool. All right, all right. Okay, all right. They think I'm stupid, but that's exactly how I got my last job. They felt so bad that they hired me. I kind of want to make some changes around the office. What else can I change? What about the boss's office? I do have almost $19,000, so let's go upgrade it. 
Brad better fall in love with me now. Let's go to our reception desk. Let's upgrade it. What about the meeting room? Let's see. Let's upgrade it. Oh, we'll add in some windows as well. What do you want, Brad? Tidy up the game room before lunch. All right, fine. Oh, wow. Speaking of the game room, here it is. Let's collect uh, this right here. We'll collect the balls. We'll collect the pool tables. And the pool sticks. And all right, that was my easiest job of the day. Oh, wow. It has been such a long day. Brad, I'm trying to take a nap, man. Can I help Meeting you? Meeting at the conference room in two minutes. Two minutes? Why does Brad have a giant mustache now? Oh, uh, Brad? Brad looks a little different now. I don't Is this one of my managers? I don't know. Hold the kiss. Well, oh, wait. No, this is one of the employees. I'm going to kiss Brad now. Don't, don't, don't look at us. Don't stop. Hey, we're not. Stop. Just... Keep going over that pie chart. Tell me how much pie you ate yesterday. Okay, back back to it, Brad. Okay, cool. Yup, this is... Yup, okay, good, good, good. Oh, oh, oh. We weren't doing anything. Nothing. Okay, we still have 17 days to get him to fall in love with us. I honestly, I think that we... We, we pretty much have him there. We just gotta do a couple more things. Let's check out my email real quick. Uh, uh, I'm hot and I know it. And he's, he, has, he has money. Um, sure, yeah. Uh, Jake, looking for hookups. Nah. You found a match. Oh, wait, really? Let's do something wild. Go on an adventure. Adventure? That, yup, that is what we decided. Uh, let's do it. All right, cool. Any ideas? Bungee jumping. Let's do it. All right. Mission successful. We, we got paid $100. We got a sugar daddy. Oh, this is great. Life is on easy mode right now. All right, Brad. I, all right. I'm not dating anybody. Can you arrange my to-do list? All right, fine. Let's see, Brad, what does he have to do? Organize files. Did he do all of this? Oh no, uh, he still has to do this stuff. He already did the stuff in green, so he still has to organize all the files. How did he not do any of the organizing? Brad is such a bad boss. You know who would be a good boss? Me. I would be a good boss. I show up on time. I know how to hack into the mainframe. Have you ever lied about your age? Never. Would you rather never need to eat or sleep? I would rather never need to sleep because I love eating. I also love sleeping too. That's a tough one. Have you ever prank called somebody? I've prank called the police. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> At what age will you retire? What are these questions? And why does it tell me random information that I need to watch an ad to get to? I don't want to know what age I will retire. Brad, I am not in the mood today. What is it? Fire employees for me. Oh, Brad. Okay, br all right. Everybody, come on in. Uh, employee list uses women's washroom. Pooped in the office? Which one do I fire? Well, this lady pooped in the office, and that shows initiative and confidence. So we're gonna fire this guy. That's right. I'm still hacking into the mainframe. <laughs> okay, you stole office supplies and you are late for work every day. Uh, I'm gonna have to fire the lady that's late for work every day. You can come in on time and you can take whatever you want. I thought I literally just fired this guy. Also, who is this man that's walking through the wall right now? Can I hire him? Because I want somebody that has superpowers on my team. Punched a hole in the wall or 15 leave days this month. You took half the month off. Good for you. All right. I like that. 15 more days before Brad and I get married. Little does Brad know I'm a 24-year-old man. Get me a coffee. Okay, Brad, I can do that. Not a problem. Not a problem. Uh, what are you doing, Brad? Find the boss. Are you the boss? No. Um, did I not? Are you? Wow, you are tall. What's up, Chad? What's I uh, not? I mean, not Chad. Your name is Thad. What's up, Crad? Your name is Smad. Nice to see you. Hey, what's going on, Brad? Got you that coffee. Yep. Not bad. Thanks, man. I am the best coffee maker you've ever seen. Let's get married. Hello? You are going for a work trip. Pack your bags ASA. Yes! Let's do it! Get, yeah, get that all in there. Get it in there. I'm going on a work trip. I've been waiting for this all my life. All right, there we go. We're packing my... Is that a banana laptop? I don't care. Uh, headphones right in the middle. All right, cool. I don't know why I packed my headphones because I kind of want to listen to stuff on the plane, but we'll, we'll get them later. That's fine. All right, where are we going on a work trip? Uh, wow. Oh, okay. All right, I've been promoted to skilled secretary. Sweet. Uh, all right, where are we on vacation? What is this place? Uh, who are you? Oh my god, lady! You just poured scalding hot coffee on my face. Check if she is okay. Wait, me? Me? I, no, I, I'm not okay. You could have spilled that on Brad. You didn't have to spill it on me. Are you blind? <laughs> <laughs> Savage PA. All right, well, I now have third degree burns on my face, but I'm still gonna show up for work. 
How often do you cry? Uh, uh rarely. I don't feel like answering these right now. <laughs> I have a mission that I have to accomplish. All right, Brad, let's do this. Treat yourself with a nice outfit. Brad is starting to be a lot nicer to me. He's sending me on work vacations. He's getting me outfits. We're gonna collect that. We'll collect the watch for myself. A nice looking brown dress. And also this butterfly necklace. I'm gonna be looking good. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I unlocked the angel outfit <laughs> because I'm such a good secretary. I am becoming fat. Oh, wow. Find a gym trainer for me. Okay. All right. I, I, I can do that, Brad. Not a problem. Oh, wow. I'm still dressed up as a fairy. Okay. Uh, who is a good gym trainer? The, the, the shirtless man, the man with a suit, or the guy with the skinniest legs I've ever seen in my entire life? He is the definition of don't skip leg day. And that's why we're going to pick him. Could you find a better trainer? No, no, look, he's got big upper body. Just, you know, not the best legs. Nine more days, Jack, nine more days. Who is this lady? Excuse oh, me. No. I thought you were on leave. That's why you sent me on vacation? Slap him. That's right, Brad. Let's not talk about it. I'm just gonna slap you because that's how I deal with my problems. Violence is always the answer. <laughs> and I still show up for work. All right, I'm not sure if me and Brad are dating anymore. Um, would I rather chill next to a pool or a beach? I'd say the beach. I like the beach. Would you rather cuddle a koala or a panda? I think both of them would probably murder me, but I'll go panda. Almost there. We're getting close. Respond to social media comments. Can I get a please? Maybe. All right, fine. I'll do it anyway. How many products do you have? Uh, go ask your mom. You need to reduce the smoke outside your factory. Honestly, I'm not even sure what we make or what we do, but uh, no. No, we're not going to do that. Can I get an extra discount for being pretty? You are hideous. <laughs> Savage PA. All right, one more week left until me and Brad fall in love and then I betray Brad and get him fired. I'm also looking for another job because just in case this plan doesn't work out. What is your greatest strength? Oh, it's you. Oh, it's the personal trainer. I can burp 15 times in a minute. Ready? And your greatest weakness. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. My greatest weakness, I just work too hard. What can I say? Sounds fake. No job for you. Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks for your consideration. I didn't even want to work there anyway. Hey, what's up, lady? So. Stay away from boss. He loves me, not you. Oh. Well, how about you forget him? Okay, I am over him anyway. Wait, no, wait. I. Oh, God. No, that's not what I meant. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I I love Brad and I, I, I have four days to fall in love with Brad. Oh crap, dude, this isn't looking good. This is my hardest mission yet as a secretary. Maybe my mom can help me. Video call, oh, it's my brother. What's up, Stan? How's it going? What's up? Nothing much. Uh, can I borrow your car? Or can I borrow your car? <laughs> Why? Well, crashed mine, actually. Yep. Okay, where do you want to go? You didn't even ask me if I was okay, Stan. Well, I, I want to go to uh, New York and back. I've, yeah, got big plans. Okay, take the car. Oh, really? And I got a hundred out? This is easy. I am good. I am I am so good at convincing people. Hey. Book me movie tickets. Okay, all right. Don't worry about it, Brad. I'm going to book myself a movie ticket with you. Let's go with, uh, let's go romantic. Oh, no. It's, oh, no. I should have booked a horror movie. I forgot he was with Karen. No. We have three days left. Okay, we got this. We can do this. We can do this. If I if I if I can't do it, I'm burning this place to the ground. Hey Brad. Hey, guess who got that new office for you? It was me. Clean the desk. Oh my god, Brad, I hate you. Fine. Alright. Ooh, well, wow, this is actually kind of a fun game. Okay. Oh, nice. Big shot. Alright. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm amazing at this. I can't wait till I'm the boss. Okay. Alright. Alright, Brad. I think he's liking me again. We're the senior attendant. That is that is good. Oh, doggies. Hey, what's up, Choose puppies? Your new office pet. I like the one in the middle. It's so cute. I feel like that's Brad's dog, but I eat mine now. What's up, Sparky? You remember me? I'm gonna steal Brad. And I'm, I'm gonna get Brad fired. Hey, what's going on, guys? I have an announcement. Oh, what is it? I quit this job. We are shifting to Hawaii together. Wait, what? Who's the midget? Attack him! Take this, Brad! Boom! <laughs> he walked away like he was so sad. 
<laughs> Does that mean I'm the boss now? Yes, I think I'm gonna become the boss on day 69. Who's this lady? Hey, uh, can I do something for you? I am your new boss. Call me Karen. No! Today, we're back playing Perfect Lie, where you do awful things and then lie about it. Make sure you guys leave a like on today's video, and if you don't, I'll know you're lying. Why did you stop me? You did not tie your seatbelt. You were over the speed limit. You were over the speed limit, dude. You were over the speed limit. I'm the police officer I'm here. I'm so sorry, sir. Yeah, you better be sorry. Don't try to lie to a liar. Stay at work. I'm so sorry, sir. You never saw me, right? Is he holding out money? Take the $100 or arrest him. I kind I kinda need money for rent, so I'm gonna take that $100 and we're never gonna see each other ever again. Well done, yes, I'm amazing. I've become an expert con artist. We're moving up in the World Liar Ranking Leaderboard. Eventually, I will be the number one liar in the world. We just passed one of my nemesis's chug. We are now 28 years old and we're almost 29 years old. Let's see, what am I doing here? My water broke, meet me at the hospital. I have a wife? Why, I didn't know that. Oh gosh, okay, I'm just, I'm hanging out with friends. I'm pretty sure I've been drinking a little bit too much apple juice. Let's see. Oh, one hour later. Where were you? I don't know. I couldn't find the car keys or there was too much traffic. Either lie is not really the best lie. So I'm going to say there was traffic. You can't really get mad at me for that. There was so much traffic. Yep. Anyway, help me now. Okay, good. I'm going to help you. Also, why is my wife always Got in her, her wedding dress? I'm not the doctor here. Are you not the doctor? Why am I the one guy? her to push the baby. What is happening here? What is going on? Is that my child? Is she beautiful? Yes, she is gorgeous. Or you gave birth to an alien. I'm gonna say she's gorgeous. Yes, she is gorgeous. Yup. Super pretty. That is a nice looking baby. Totally not alien like. Oh, this is getting to be too much. Oh, but we're going even further up in the leaderboards. Just past Chog again. We are neck and neck with Chog. By the end, I better be ahead of Chog or else I am going to have to lie my way even further than Chog. Guess the lie. Space is completely silent or 30,000 satellites orbit the Earth. I'm pretty sure space is silent. No, yes, no. <laughs> that wasn't the lie. Guess the lie. French poodles are actually from Germany. Greyhounds reach a speed of 75 miles per hour. They can't, no, that's, horses don't even go that fast. So that's the lie. Okay, good. That would have been crazy if they did. All right, guess the lie. Your ears never stop growing or your lips never stop growing. One of these is true. I'm gonna say your lips never stop growing. That's a lie, right? But your ears, that means that your ears are always growing? What? Oh gosh, what's up? We're gonna call you- Can we go to Disneyland? Uh, yeah, oh gosh, okay. I'm gonna call you, um, uh, Alice. We're gonna call you Alice. Uh, no, mom is allergic to Disneyland. Sorry. No, mom is allergic to Disneyland. Aww. I know, it's a real shame, but yeah. Maybe me and you can go one day. Sharing food. It looks amazing. Can't wait to eat it. Where's my plate? Can I have a bite of your food? Oh gosh. I've lied throughout my entire life, and now I've had a child, and I have to lie to my own kid. I mean, parents do it all the time, so I don't feel that bad. It's spicy. You won't like it. It's spicy. You won't like it. Maybe that's true. Okay, I hate spicy food. I know you do. I know. Also, you aged very quickly, and you have snot on your nose. What are you doing? It's 7 p.m. Go to sleep. I don't want to sleep. Well, you gotta go to sleep. Sleep or else. Sleep or else. No internet for a month. How old is my child? D does she use the internet? Is she one of those iPad kids? It's either that or the devil will haunt you. Imagine your parents saying that to you. I'm gonna say it. The devil will haunt you. I'm scared. I can't sleep. <laughs> I don't think that was the best thing that I could have said. <laughs> it's 7 p.m. Go to sleep. I don't want to sleep. Sleep or else. No internet for a month. I feel like that's... You know, not really a lie. Like, I could do that. No internet for a month. I'm not going to, because then that means I actually have to, like, parent and do stuff. Oh, what's up? Oh, gosh, hey. What are you and mommy doing? We were trying to sleep. We were we were tickling each other, trying to sleep. Tickling each other. That's fun. I'll also play. You can play when you wipe the snot out of your nose. Oh, we almost broke into the top 100 liars in the entire world. We're still one step ahead, Chuck. Can you lie? 
Have you ever shoplifted? I'm gonna say no. Do you have a Facebook account? Obviously not. Have you pooped your pants in the last five years? Yes. Amazing liar. I get $100. That's the best part about this game, is that you get paid for lying. I feel like a lawyer. Oh, it's just me and the boys at work. What's going on, what? boss man? Hey, so, uh, yeah. I was just, uh, you know, just playing around. Prank the boss. Oh my gosh, yes. We're gonna hit him with an old-fashioned banana. He's not gonna know what to do. That's right, get up. You don't even see that banana. Yeah, that's right, face plant. Have you ever played Mario Kart? Probably not, because you're an old man. What are we gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna put a candle on his seat. That is, oh, I thought that was like the world's biggest candle for a second. Oh, he sat on it. I don't know where it went, but we pranked him. We pranked him good. That's what you get for making me feel bad for sitting in your chair. And from that, we have now become a legendary falsifier. Yes, my magical fairy lying grandmother, godmother person. Thank you for the additional lie points. Nobody will be able to figure out if I'm Hi, telling sir. the truth now. Can I use your phone for a call? Hmm. Nope, it's out of charge, or I'm on another call. <laughs> I'm actually on another call. You just can't see it. I'm on another call. <laughs> but I can see your home screen. <laughs> Dang it, dude! Now I gotta give him my phone because I, he called me out on my lie. Let's try this again. Hi, sir. Can I use your phone for a call? Well, actually... Nope, it's out of charge. Nope, it's out of charge. All right, anyway... That was like the most normal response this game has had so far. Ooh, ice cream. What's up, Dad, little Alice? I want ice cream. Hmm, I'm sure you do. <laughs> no, it makes people ugly. <laughs> I gotta do it. No, it makes people ugly. <laughs> but she is so pretty. <laughs> oh no, I don't think she bought it. <laughs> dang it, dude. <laughs> I had to get her ice cream. No, dang it. Oh, it's awful. I hate getting my daughter ice cream. <laughs> I am like dad, the world's worst dad. I want ice cream. All right, don't worry, baby Alice. You can have ice cream once you start eating broccoli at home. <laughs> if you eat broccoli at home. Yup. Nah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. I'm gonna tell that to my kid one day. Oh, we're number 69 in the entire world. I don't see my arch nemesis anywhere. He's falling behind. Dada. Teach me math. Teach you maths. Uh, well, I actually have a work emergency because I am a police officer. Have a work emergency. Sorry. But today is Sunday. Well, where did you just come from the wall? Why are you still wearing your wedding dress? We've been married for five years. She must really like that I got dress. I baseball tickets for tonight. <laughs> Okay, all right, well, hmm. Dada, teach me math. I actually can't. I don't know math. And I also have to go meet a sick friend. Going to meet sick friend. Okay, teach me tomorrow. Mm, my friend's gonna be sick for a couple days, actually, little Alice. Oh, car crash. Oh gosh, hold to drive. Okay, we're driving. How did I do that? Why is my baby in the streets? Did you guys see that? What happened to the car? Well, first off, why did you let Alice leave the house? She was on the streets. She could have been in the crash. Uh, and about the car, uh, somebody actually crashed into me. Totally wasn't my fault. It was- Someone crashed into me. They're dumb. Oh, no. No. Yeah. Take care, babe. Thank you. Thank you. I'm probably gonna need a massage later, too, because I am so distraught. And I also need you to buy us a new car. I can't spend my lying money. It's dirty money. Oh, we're top 50 in the world for lying. I am now 33 years old, and I don't think I've told the truth a day in my life. Oh gosh, okay, oh, oh gosh, that's my dog, hmm, hmm, interesting. Poop here. Well, also, uh, why is this man a giant, and why am I eight years old again? Where did my facial hair go? Well, the birds, the, the birds from the sky did it. The birds did it. Even though it was the color of dog poop. This is too much for a bird. Oh, uh, oh, he just, did he just kick me? Uh -oh. Oh my gonads! Did he just kick me? <laughs> That's such a dramatic fall, by the way, dude. Poop, poop here. And it, his name is just Strange. Is this Doctor Strange from Marvel? Uh, your dog actually did it. He went through the your multiverse and he pooped, and you just didn't see it. Bad dog. Yep. Yep, yep, it was all your dog. Totally not my dog. You're not even gonna clean it up? You just left it! Dog in school. Oh, awesome, yes. All right, Sparky, stay still. Dogs are not allowed in the class. He's my emotional support animal. I knew that was gonna be there! I knew it! He's my emotional support animal. Yeah, it's true. Okay, let me check. Wait, what? Uh, don't look at him. Oh, <laughs> Um, you made me mad, so he did his job. That's all your fault, Teach. I'm gonna collect my lying money and be on my way. Oh my gosh, we are the number one liar in the entire world. I don't see Chug anywhere on that top leaderboard. 
I need to make sure to keep my spot at number one. Wait a second. Why am I back in school? How old am I? I am a 33-year-old man back in school. I'm, I'm sneaking out of class. Next day in school. Hey, teacher. W am I in college? Why did you miss school yesterday? Wait a second. I think I beat the game. I thought it was a Sunday. I thought it was Sunday. Was this all just a dream? Okay. Please sit down. Am I actually five years old again? Oh my gosh, I am. I'm cheating on my test. Y you don't see a thing. Look, I got an A plus now. Wait, did the teacher just change to a man? Why do you both have the same answer? I thought you were a woman two seconds ago. He cheated from me. He cheated from me. <laughs> <laughs> So some people say I have a pretty big head, but you guys can make it even bigger. Every time you guys leave a like on today's video, my head will get 1% larger. Go ahead and try it out. Wait a second, guys, it's actually getting bigger. I really didn't think this was going to work. Okay, guys, you can stop. You can seriously stop leaving likes on today's video. I am starting to break my office. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My head is back to normal size, and we are going to be playing a game called Layer Man, where I am going to be making this stick figure's head as big as possible. Hopefully by the end of today's video, this man's head will be bigger than my head was in the intro. So we get to the end and we need to tap in order to like fling my body forward and then we get extra points. Now it looks like when we get extra points, we get extra money. I don't know exactly what we're gonna be able to spend money on, but I guess we shall find out eventually. We're gonna go this way, collect some of that. We gotta avoid the obstacles in order to collect my rainbows. You know, pretty easy. Nothing super sus about this game. Yeah, look at that. I got my head to 92. That's pretty good. And then I could like fling my body forward, which is really weird. But my ultimate objective is to reach the boss that is all the way in the back. It's the purple guy that have like, it has demon horns. I don't know exactly what happens when I get to that man. But once I do, I will challenge him to a head duel. We're just going to headbutt each other. All right, let's see. We're going to hit this bounce pad and we're going to keep making our head larger, even larger, larger. You can't stop me. I'm going to make my head as big as the freaking moon. Oh, uh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm gonna go to the left here. Uh, don't touch. Stop! Stop! Leave my layers alone! Alright, fling my body forward. Whee! nailed it. So I know that I'm making money at the end of every round, but I don't even know what the money does. Wait, guys, do you see this? Okay, so we have to avoid other players that are actually playing the game. So if they're bigger than me and they have more head power, I need to avoid them. But if they're smaller than me, I can eat them. Kind of like the Agario game. All right, so we've collected up to 90 layers and my head is massive. We're one step closer to getting to the purple dude. I'm coming for you, purple man! I will absorb his head, and then my head will be the biggest head to ever exist. Come here, little guy. Hey. Oh, we're gonna collect him. Collect those. My head's getting bigger. We just crossed into the hundreds. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you for your contribution. Okay, my, my head is... Uh, no, avoid that man. That man is... He, even, even though he only had a tiny head, it still was more powerful than my head. Oh, wait, we might be actually able to reach him. No, wait. Oh my gosh, we were one block away from reaching the purple demon. I'm coming for you. You can't escape me and my giant forehead. All right, so we have to avoid the hooks. We'll collect these, collect these, collect these. I'm gonna collect you as well, little guy. Welcome to my forehead. Enjoy your stay. Thank you, thank you. Collect these. So it's a pretty simple game where you just gotta collect as many layers as possible. Pretty self-explanatory. Oh, oh, we just collected a huge guy right there, and I think this is the biggest head that I've ever had. It almost looks like one of those giant lollipops that take forever to actually eat. Wait, we're gonna reach the, the guy. The dude, you're mine! Did I did I get him? I, I feel like I got close. Can I get the guy? Can we actually battle? Because he has a giant head, and I want to kill him so that I have the biggest head. Wait a second, on the left side of the screen, there's a brand new bar. It says fever. What is that? Do? Does that am, am I going to get sick? I really don't want to get sick, dude. Oh, gosh. Okay, dodge that. The, the obstacles are starting to get really difficult now. On fever mode. Immortal for seven seconds. Yes, dude. Okay, so I think I can just run through anything. <laughs> Oh my god, that's insane! Look at that! We have a 550 level head! And shoot! Let's go! Boom! That was sick! Let's go, dude! I knocked them out! Look at that! I I'm hitting the gritty on him! Alright, it looks like his brother is here to pick up the pieces. Fever mode is going to be super effective if I can keep getting that. Alright, don't don't touch me. Do not touch me. My daddy is a lawyer and he'll, he'll, he'll lawyer you. He will lawyer you. Let's see. We're gonna collect this. We're almost at fever mode. 
Fever mode! Destroy the obstacles! All right, I can't really destroy the obstacles, so that was a little bit underwhelming. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna avoid the guy on the right. Even though his head is tiny, he has more power than me. I don't understand. Oh, gosh. Okay, once my head is this big, I really... Oh, gosh. I can't touch those guys. They would have killed me. It's so confusing. They have such tiny brains, but apparently their heads are massive. It doesn't matter, though. Look at that. Dance on them. Dance on them. Dance on them. This is what big head people do. Time to make my head even larger. What does this do? Do I just... Do I... Oh, okay. I attach that. Oh, nice. I'm liking this. I can fling my body around. That's pretty satisfying. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Dodge that. Oh, gosh. What do I do? Oh, crap. Okay. Okay. This actually only takes away one layer, so that's not that bad. What do we have? Only 67? How did my head get so tiny that round? Off we go. Okay. All right. All right. Dodged. 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 Easy peasy. What about up here? Oh, hello. Okay. Dodge. 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 This is a lot of work for not a lot of layers. We're only at 50 layers right now. I think my new, my high score is like 550 or somewhere around there. So I need to do like a lot better. Okay. Oh, don't dodge me. Stop. Stop. Leave me alone. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Whoa. Oh, oh, we, okay. We got fever mode, but it didn't really matter. Maybe I'll have infinite power right now. Look at it. I have rainbow powers. Rainbow powers kind of suck. Hey, what's up there, little guy? You think you can run from me? Get back here. Thank you. All right, what about uh, that guy up there? I'm, I'm taking him down. This is the FBI Federal Beck Bro Jack Investigation Unit, and you are now a part of my head. All right, we're gonna collect you. All right, this one, I gotta go to the right, left, to the right, to the left. I feel like I'm following some sort of weird dance. Okay, we had fever mode, but now we don't. Okay, so with fever mode, I think that my, my head, it gets even bigger. All right, we can't touch those guys. Those guys are the untouchable 600 layer mans, but I'm gonna be able to just boom, karate chop that man. I didn't realize dance parties were gonna be such a large part of this game. It is kind of weird too. I am having a lot of fun making my head as big as physically possible, but I am collecting money. I am getting paid to do this. However, I can't spend my money on anything. It's legit like, like I get paid for a job and I make money. However, I can't buy anything with the money. Nothing's even for the only satisfaction I get from this game is making my head as big as I can. And I'm honestly not even mad about it. Oh, this one looks a little bit more complicated than the other levels. Let's see. All right, we're going to go there. Yes, yeah, so we're going to attach your body to the trapeze thingy. There we go. Zip line down. Collect this. Dodge that. Don't touch me. Pop up there. I'm about to get fever mode. Yeah, that's right. What's popping now? Let's see. I still got some fever mode. You think you can get away from me, little guy? Not a chance. Oh, crap. Okay, dodge. Dodged. Fire. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. So if you're not flying in the air, then you kind of just go all the way to the end and you don't karate chop the giant purple devil. I really want some backstory on like me and the purple devil. Like, why are we mortal enemies? What did he do to my family that I don't like? Maybe one day we'll find out the lore. Oh, I got fever mode. Come here, little guy. Always mine. Yes, dude. We still really haven't broken our high score, but maybe now 525. It's good. We're going to destroy that man and have a dance battle. However, I don't think it's my high score yet anyway i will beat my high score if it is the last thing that i do all right well these guys look scary don't touch me okay 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 there we go we're gonna get through this collect my rainbow hula hoops hula hoopy hoopy and poopy and thank you join the army this might be it guys oh god no 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 okay we still have a chance. We're at 314, and it seems like there's still a lot more hula hoops to collect. Can I get to 500? Mm, I don't know, guys. It's gonna be close. There's also a lot of obstacles here. Don't stop. Stop. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Oh, and oh. Wow. I'm actually pretty proud of myself for that. I think we're gonna take him out. Yeah, we did. All right. Easy peasy, but I didn't even come close to my high score. Why is a little stick man a better dancer than I am? I really gotta take some dancing lessons. Ow! 
It's such a satisfying sound whenever I break something. After this round, I'm gonna just literally break everything in my path and see if I can still beat the level. All right, round fever mode. Excuse me, little sir. No, I missed him. Oh, that would've been huge. All right, well, there's a 700 guy. Can't touch him, but I need the 200. Come here. I don't even know if I got him. I, I really don't think that I did. That is a little bit disappointing. That means I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna make it to the end, but I'm not gonna be able to touch the purple man. He doesn't even really fight back. He kind of just looks down on me. Play your man. Play your man. Does whatever layer man does. Can he make his head bigger? Yes, he can, cause he's layer man. All right, we're gonna break the obstacles. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. What's up, little guy? Boom, boom. Boom! Come here! Wait, why does it run to this guy? Boom! <laughs> it, does, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> what is this game? And, <laughs> all right, yeah, no, you can run through the obstacles willy-nilly, and it does not matter. By the end of today's video, I need to get my head to at least a thousand size. That's the only way that I'm gonna feel like I actually did something. I don't even have to do anything. I can sit back and watch my little layer man do his dirty work. Look at him go. He's grown up so much. I figured out a new strategy where I could stop my character. We just go left and right really fast. And literally, I like barely move one bit at a time. Look at that, look at that, boom, collected. Uh, I don't think I could collect this guy. 400 is a little bit more than 150. After playing this game for about an hour now, I'm starting to realize that I think the highest score you can get is only like 600 something. There's only like five levels in the entire game and they just repeat each other over and over and over again. So it makes it really difficult to try to like get a high score of a thousand because I honestly think that it might be physically impossible. I think this might be one of like the few levels where you can actually get like a decent high score. Like look at that, we're already at 500 and it looks like we might be able to collect maybe one more up here. Maybe this guy? Nope, not that guy. See, like, it just, it sets you up so that you get a high score in, like, the 500s, maybe the 600s if you're lucky. You beat up this guy, you do a little dance, and then that's kind of it. You really can't do much else. I don't, however, want to give up. I want to see if maybe it's possible. Maybe there's just something that I'm missing. Maybe I can spend my money eventually because I am racking up cash right now. I have $3,600 ready to spend, except I, I can't really spend it on anything. I wish I could. So the best way to tell if you're gonna actually be able to get a pretty high score is by looking further down the map. And if you see a lot of little stick guys running around that have giant circular heads, that's how you know that maybe you do have a shot of getting a high score. But they make it so like, it's really difficult to keep your fever going. Like if I was able to collect the 500 and the 700 stick people, I would, I got a thousand! Oh my gosh, I just got so lucky! I got a thousand! I don't know what I was talking about before, but I got a thousand! Today, I got a brand new job as a waitress. How hard could it be? Day one on the job. Oh, hello there, good sir. How are you doing? You look nice. Nice restaurant. Okay, what's your food order? One steak, please. All right, I got this. I can spell things. One steak. All right, that's gonna have to do. Hopefully, the person in the back understands. We are going to press one steak, hit next, and I I think we nailed it. There you go, my good sir. Awesome. Yum. Wow, I've never had somebody applaud before when I've given them food, but I kind of like it. Now, I don't do this for the money. However, the money is very good. Day number two. Oh, wait, the same guy's back again. Well, hi. Call me if you want. Do I want to? I'll give you my number. Oh, okay. I, oh, 9173. Okay, all right. It's a 9173. I'm gonna write a question mark because I don't really know if I want to see this guy again or give him a phone call. We'll hit next. Oh, I am calling him right now. Okay, 9173. Is that actually your phone number? Four digits? Where is this man from? Okay, we're gonna call him right next to him. Okay, wow, all right, he's already back at home. He must have rushed home. He's so excited that he got a phone call from me. 
me. Are we gonna start dating? I am nervous. I don't like this. I get anxious when people like me. Day three on the job. Okay, he is back again. I officially have a stalker. Okay, all right. Uh, what did, what did you leave, my good sir? What happened? Oh, he's waiting for me. I think he left it for me. This isn't weird. You forgot something. No, I didn't. Oh, it was actually for me. It's a gift for you. I love you. Am, uh, yeah, uh, I am so lost for words right now, sir. I literally just met you two days ago, and I am not actually a real person. I am playing as this waitress. Okay, uh, an NPC has fallen in love with me. I'm just gonna write no, 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 <laughs> no, no. I think I killed him. Okay, I guess we have to retry this again. It's a gift for you. Yeah, I know. I love you. Yep, you've said that already. Okay, well, um, I'm supposed to trace, what does it say? You two? Okay, I guess we're just going with it. This is now my boyfriend, and I love him because he gave me flowers. Oh, okay. I don't feel very comfortable about this. Wh who is this? To be continued? What kind of saga is this? I don't know if I like it, but I I'm kind of invested now. Okay, I thought I was just getting into another dumb simulator game, but this is a lot better than I thought. Okay, day five on the job, and he is back. Uh, I don't know what to call him. I'm gonna call him Stalker Stan. I'm here for dinner. Okay, welcome back, steak. Oh, of course you want steak. You literally just, I don't even need to write it down. I'm just gonna write sad face. Oh, never mind. He wants beer and steak. Okay, I think I can remember that. Oh, wait, beer, steak, burger. Are you ordering all for yourself? I mean, oh, okay, you want the entire menu. You want everything. I'm gonna keep the sad face because I don't really feel too good about this man right now. He's giving off bad vibes. Okay, we're gonna go steak, beer, burger, and pizza. Yes, that was easy to remember. I don't even know, like, why I need to write things down. This man is about to have a feast all by himself, and I have a weird feeling he wants me to join him. He can also see that I wrote a sad face on his food order. Hopefully he thinks it looks like a happy face because it's upside down. That was delicious. Would you like to go on a date afterwards? Whew, okay, um, sorry. That was it. I just said sorry. Can't do it. Nope, gotta work. Gotta make fat stacks of cash. Oh, all right, day seven on the job. This is about to be my first week in the books. Please sign your restaurant name. Oh, my restaurant name is just yummy. I didn't even realize. Thought everybody was just saying how yummy the food was. Yummy exclamation point. That is the name of my restaurant. That's how people feel when they eat the food. They feel yummy. All right, that was an easy day. All I had to do was accept a delivery. Imagine if every day was that easy. Oh gosh, Stan, we gotta stop meeting like this. Why are you so mad at me, Stan? I don't even, I met you like six days ago. Stan, Stan, why do I care? Oh no, oh gosh, I gotta say sorry. Can I just say please stop stalking? All right, there we go. I, I'm just, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna write sorry too so that the game thinks that I actually wrote what I was supposed to write. Please, something stalking. Okay, cool. Wait, he might get the wrong idea and think that I want him to stalk me more. Oh no, oh gosh, okay. This is the last thing that I wanted. And also, who is this mysterious figure? Hopefully it is a police officer that is able to help me. Okay, we've hit double digits. What's going on? Are we on the Titanic? We're on the actual Titanic right now. I don't like this game. What were the developers thinking? He's proposing on day 10. We haven't even been dating yet. I don't even think we're official. The outline says yes. They want me to say yes. Do I have an option to say no? Why is that not an option? If I scribble on the note, will he take the hint? Please tell me he will. The answer is no. No, 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 what are you doing? No, gosh, I got married against my will. Day number 11. Oh, what's up? You look like a Kim Kardashian clone. Oh, that's a nice ring. Thanks. Thank you. Yep, I'm getting married. Please give me something hot to drink. I'll give you something hot to drink. I don't even need to write anything down. I'm going to give you a hot coffee. There you go. Not a problem. Okay, all right. Stop looking at me like you have mental problems. She has not blinked in 10 minutes. Running a restaurant and trying to avoid a stalker that I am getting married to is a problem. Okay, what do I gotta do? I gotta draw a heart on this thing. All right, there you go. What the do, 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 do? All right, it was delicious. No, ma'am, it was yummy. All right, read the sign. Thank you, Mary. Special new pen. <laughs> no, thanks. Once you miss it, it may be gone forever. It has never been gone forever. It always pops up after two more days. Ooh, I can get a special pen for $1,000. I have a unicorn pen. 
Maybe now I'll be able to fix my life. Oh, what's happening? Am I at the church? Please tell me I'm not getting married. Oh, wait, somebody's here. It's the grandfather. Do you pledge your love? I do. Oh, gosh, no way. I'm too nervous to speak. Oh, come on. Oh, who is this? What? Dad? Dad, help. How did my dad know? Oh, gosh, wait. Why am I about to write I do? I need my dad to write I don't. I do. And then real shiny in the fine print, not. I do not. Um, no. What are you doing? Please stop it. Uh, you're making me angry. I now pronounce pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss. Please, please. Where's my dad? Where did my dad go? I thought my dad was going to save me. Who is this lady? Why did my dad even show up if he didn't do anything to help me? What was the point of that? Oh, who's coming in the door? Oh, wow. It's John Wick. What? What is happening? Did he agree to be in this? Shall you sign? Sign what? What do you, what am I signing? I don't want to say sorry. I, I'm watching the ad. Oh, we did it. What's this? Food order. Do I sign my name? Can I just say, please help me? Okay, let's see if he gets the message. I said, please help me. I'll put a happy face so he knows that I'm not being too serious, but I am kind of being serious. And I'm going to put $1 million at the bottom. Just maybe he'll pay me. I don't know. It's a shot in the dark. What happened? Oh, do you like, okay. What's, well, I'm dancing. I don't understand what just happened. That was not a normal human interaction. She's still break dancing. Okay, good. All right. We're just going to collect our money and be on our way. Day number 17. What are we up to now? Thank you for coming coming to Dinosaur Island. Enjoy your honeymoon. What timeline are we in? I'll tell you the pin at the gate. Please write it down. Okay, good. Yes, I need to write things down. 5963. I want to get us trapped in here so I never have to leave. Maybe I can ditch Stalker Dan or St Stan, not Dan. I forgot his name and we're married. Okay, that's fine. Uh, please, sir. Oh, oh my God. Oh, uh, really? Really? The day that we come here, a T-Rex escapes? Hurry up. Open the gate, please. Oh, oh gosh, I got to open the gate. Wait, what happens if I just like wait here? Can we just wait this out? Could I wait until Stalker Stan gets eaten by a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Is that an option? I guess not. All right. Five, nine, six, three. Enter. Let us out of here. Yay. The gate opened. Well, that's good. All right. Let's go. <laughs> and we're out of there. <laughs> Sorry, T-Rex. You were too late this time. Maybe next time. <laughs> well, that was the quickest honeymoon in all of history. Who is this lady? Is, is that his mom or is that my mom? Whose mother is this? Ooh, I'm getting excited. We're getting close to day number 22. Oh, hey, what's up, Stan? I hate your face. I come to this restaurant often. I know you do. I know we're married and it's gr it's awful actually, but I, I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna take your order and then we're gonna get a divorce. Hot coffee after dinner, please. Really? Okay, one hot coffee. It's okay. All right, hot sea. There we go. What did I do? Two wines, uh, one stew. Do I give you the hot coffee? coffee now? I mean, we are technically husband and wife, so you can't get too angry if I mess this up. Let's see. Okay, good. Good. All right. Actually, I probably should have messed it up on purpose. Maybe then he wouldn't want to be with me anymore. That was delicious. Would you like to go on a shopping date afterwards? No, I can't. I gotta work. Gotta work, stalker Stan. Sorry. And number 20, Kim Kardashian is back and she's ready. She's wearing like the same exact outfit. Oh, you bought new clothes? Did I? I don't think that I did. Give me today's special. All right. Today's special. Got it. What is today's special? The hot dog. <laughs> this isn't really much of a restaurant that I'm running. This is more like a food stand. All right. Here you go. That's our special. Special specialty hot dogs made out of pigs. Day number 21, one day away from day number 22. Oh, are, are you back? Check, please. Wait, you stayed the entire night? An entire day just passed. Uh, all right, what are we doing? Thanks. And then is this like a winky face? Like a heart winky face? I don't know. I don't know. You're welcome. That outfit suits you. Thank you. I think I've been wearing the same outfit for 21 days. Thanks again, Mary. Day number 22. All right. Oh, it is heart day. What's going to happen? Oh, it's Stan's birthday. Okay. Oh, it's the lady. It's the lady. Who is this? Is this like your ex-wife or something? Mom? <laughs> Long time no see. I'll go to your birthday party. <laughs> What? Lastly, add his name and the cake is complete. His name is Kai after all this time? Can I can I put Stan? I'm putting Stan. All right, Stan, and I'm gonna write, please leave. This is probably the worst way to tell somebody that you don't wanna be with them, but I'm gonna do it. Did it work? Kai, your birthday cake is ready. Come on over. Open this box. Oh, he's so angry. Look at the mom. Every time I do something, he freaks out. Maybe that's why I'm so scared to ask him for a divorce. All right, fine. I'll put your name. There you go, Kai. I'm still gonna call him Stan. So kind of you. I'm very happy. Oh, there's a stalker outside. Probably gonna be my brother. 5,000 likes and I'll continue my life as a waitress.